Classic Wah, Star June, Plisterin, Salty, Dobby, Dobby the Slave, sorry. Well, let's start with the ball. <laughs> Golf is life, soinks, I comes, Uyo, Saloid and Fredino. Dude or dude, thanks for subbing. No bullshit, thanks for 55 subs, appreciate it, dude. Kid Chameleon, thanks for subbing. Bakemono, Yawaki, River Pond, Lake Pinsay, Ring of Recoil, Golden Knight, Cheryl, thanks for subbing. Subspaces, thanks for subbing. Pocket packed. <clears throat> Isn't Hazard Dan Matt Slut Claire Floret? Tragonda, good morning. Brocom, Salt Olt, JV Thunder Chronicles, Poe Fox, D D2 Jake Taft Doge. La Lena is crazy. Ero Erogaki before Pluto Sterlix. Thanks for subbing. Together shooting one sub. Blue Bomb. Soviet Archaeomancer. Thanks for seven. Paint three dark cross bull Shiro AC Benji Serp. Gregorius Hyrule Hero Adsums and T size. Thanks for sub. Phantom Yasesso. T size Adsums. The Hyrule Hero. Thanks for seven. Kathleen Scourge Heart. Hail Hall Flight. Hideki Ryuchi, thanks for seven. Happy birthday, dude. Also, happy birthday to <clears throat> One Chatter's Cat, an avid stream watcher, Ollie, dude. Happy birthday, Ollie. Is this saying Ryuchi? MZ for F, thanks for seven. Phantom Scourge Heart, thanks for seven. Mega Nura, thanks for subbing. Zeus back, MZ for F, thanks for subbing. Lucky is Walk Sharp Squash. Max Rules, thanks for subbing. 84 years enough to retire? Negative. <clears throat> My birthday's on Saturday. Remember it. I won't. Boof loof. Birdie. Daguyo. Need a burrito. Thanks for seven. Good shit time your AFK with Vigors earlier today. My kid wet the bed. <laughs> He's never wet the bed before. Ever said there's seven epsilon, there's seven. Clorock! Clark is the word. John Blom. Coming Dagger the result. Camarodella, Bomb Stalker, Abar Sai. Michelle, thanks for subbing. To Celebrain. Thanks for subbing for one year. It says thank myself in Spanish. Uh, Yo quiero sub. Cell phone. To Celebrain. Rapid Ninja Potato. Thanks for subbing. Stop using my name. Thanks for subbing. Sacrificial Yoshi and Michelle. Thanks for subbing. Have a subbing. Thanks for seeing five subs. Mm. Rate the rate, rate the drip, guys.
Sully Ratchet, Dragonite, Zan DRK. Thanks for sub. I'm Fasta Hungry ish Sully. Thanks for subbing. Another brandishing alert? They're not coming, guys. Hey, Mr. Mayor. Greetings. Greetings. Hello to you both. Eve, I would like to talk to you briefly. Hey, full disclosure, uh, I let Juno convince me to conspire against you and Nino. I'm sorry. Um, she's a stupid bitch. Uh, terrible at her job. Um, whatever business idea Nino wants, he's going to get. Okay? Let him know. Call me surprised. <laughs> yeah. Look. I wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. I, I, I really bought into the sob story. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I was I thought I was fighting for an underdog. That's what it felt like. <clears throat> but uh, in actuality, I was just fighting for someone who really did not deserve any of my time or effort. <laughs> That's okay. So, if you see Nino before me, please extend my most sincere apologies, especially for the meeting that we had. Um, okay. I want to apologize to you, because you were kind of the the onus for me denying him. Um, yeah, Le I look forward to being able to work together, hopefully, if you're willing to work with me. <clears throat> yeah, I had nothing against you at all. Just unfortunate that, you know, you know everything... Juno does touch, gets destroyed. So uh, good, good, good for you for you know getting out of there. Yeah, I fired her. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> you know why? You want to know why I fired her, Eve? Mm -hmm. What happened? Because she went, she went to my wife, one on one, and said, "I don't like Max's police." Uh, can, uh, God, well, I keep forgetting the second word. Very important word. Hang on. Police continuity mm -hmm. plan, okay, which is effectively places them under the jurisdiction of the executive branch, i.e. the mayor's office, to help them sort out their fucking issues, right? He went to my wife mm -hmm. and complained to her that uh, she didn't like it because it did not include any, ex like, according to my wife, it did not include any powers for the chief of staff to exercise whatever it is I'm trying to do. So she was upset that she did not get any additional responsibility and power as a result of the, a result of the, the, the act that I drafted. So I fired her. <laughs> Did she not know that whatever you do, she gets to do at the end of the day as well? I mean, ultimately, that is kind of like a privilege I would have extended to her. Uh, it wouldn't have been like 
she wouldn't have had the ability to do anything in any, any official capacity, but she could have been there on meetings. She could have, she could have helped me make decisions on all of that stuff. But, you know, the, the, this is the way that the cookie crumbled. And that, I'm sorry, once again. Please You're forgive good. me. <clears throat> You're good. You know that, that this act that you pushed through is exactly what we did five, six years ago, and the city hated us for it? Yeah. Um, I've heard a lot, I've heard a lot of things about it. I've heard a lot of people say, you know, uh, what makes you think you're qualified to do something that countless people have failed to do? Um, at the end of the day, that does, that is not a deterrent for me to not want to try. <clears throat> yeah, we were back in the day, me and Lang tried to do this with a very scary lawyer who could wordsmith any piece of paper and add any clause that was hidden under very big and large words that nobody understood mm -hmm. and um yeah people thought that we were the baba yaga when we literally haven't even done anything we didn't touch anything we didn't do anything and people got so scared just reading a few words and i, I guess this is what ha is happening now people are so scared by the thought of them having no power you know, when you say people do you mean cops um everybody we wait we set up so the, th this at uh, this plan that you guys did it, it didn't pertain just to the police it was it was everything oh oh yeah what i'm doing is just police stuff it's police oversight it's not whatever you're, you're talking about <laughs> oh it was it was everything we we could have caused havoc, but we didn't, and people were still, still scared. Yeah, that, that's kind of that's kind of the, what the response was from some of the old guard on the council in regards to the act that I was trying to pass. Mm -hmm. They were they were they they were afraid that they couldn't trust me to act reasonably and responsibly, which I will do, uh, even though if I were to act irresponsibly, they have the power to impeach me, uh, and justifiably, right? They're just pussies, man. They're pussies, some of them. Mm. Sorry, I can rant about this all day, but I, I got like meetings. No, you're good. I you're got good. I got you're meetings good. out the wazoo right now. <clears throat> no, you're good. I accept the apology, and I hope um, I hope you you get done what you want to do, Max. I know you can. Thank you. Well, this is nice. Hi, man. They're bread. <laughs> Hi. I'll uh, talk to you. Do you do your uh, review today? Uh, yeah. They uh, it didn't go particularly uh. It didn't, I don't know how bad it went, but basically we had a. Uh, they talked about all my DAPs, including ones that I did me. not, uh, that are outside of the 60 days. Um, and they basically wanted to talk about if, if I deserve to still work here or work at the PD. Um, and they went through each and every one. And uh, I explained for most of them, I said, yeah, I probably deserve to get DAP by that. And uh, I explained what I learned from things and. Uh, I don't know if they were happy with my answers, but who, who's, uh, who oversaw your thing? Captain Slacks, Captain Turner, who hadn't been here in a month, month or so, uh, Captain Ruth, uh, Aldo Jackson is a shift one senior. I don't really overlap with him too much. And uh, Alice Watson, who's another senior officer who I don't overlap with hardly ever. So what was but, the, uh, what was the general consensus? Um, I, I didn't walk out of that thing feeling very positively. I, I, I didn't feel, uh, I, I didn't feel like they liked how that meeting went, even though I was just as honest as possible with them and I wasn't disrespectful or nothing. I right. just told them how it is and, you know, I didn't, I didn't raise my voice. I didn't do none of that shit. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It's very clear. Everything that I brought up was, uh. You know, kind of, kind of put down, and misconstrued, and all that shit. So it's like, okay, well, you know, they they were worried about me. Company, like, why we don't like how people go and they speak to the mayor, and you know, they take things out of the PD because it causes problems. Wait, and what? Like, wait, 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 wait. They said that. Yeah, and uh, wait, I no, said, no, no. I, I, I need, I need as much info on this as you can give me. So, okay. uh, start over the begin, uh, start at the beginning about their sentiment about the mayor's office. Uh, they basically said that, yeah, I'll talk over here. Uh, they basically told me that they, uh, the conversation led to this point where it was, 
they it's a problem whenever people take things in the PD and then take them outside of the, the police department and uh, it ends up causing more problems because problems for who problems for who problems for the department that's the no, claim problems for high command the people that are going to be held responsible for their shitty fucking decisions it's problems yeah. for them and they, they they try the same shit they're like oh it, you know they talk to me about oh the, this this could be a morale issue this could be a morale issue their morale not anyone they don't give a shit about you or any other fucking cop as long as they can keep their power that's all they give a shit about if, if, yeah. if accountability was a thing that they gave a shit about Ruth would have already been in cuffs and would be on a 24 hour hold for fucking treason. But instead, I gotta march down there myself and make that happen. Yeah, actually, I was just talking to uh, a couple lawyers about that. Um, about uh, finding out to make sure it actually was treason or not. Because um, I heard about it all in the city council meeting, and then you told me about it after it happened. But, uh, we'll but yeah, the, that's we'll, basically. We'll, it. we'll let the judges decide. Uh, at the right. very least, I'd like to have her uh, have a taste of her own medicine. Yeah, they were claiming I could be charged for murder. Um, Who? For, uh, they claimed I could for uh, the shit with Donald Bush, the 23rd, after right. he stabbed a police officer. Well, listen, there were seven officers on that scene, and they all shot him. So if I'm, if I'm, if they have a murder charge on me, that's seven accomplices. You know, you need, do you know what qualified immunity is? Apparently, we don't have it. Oh shit. Yeah, that's what Xavier just told me. <laughs> Okay, so, all right, uh, hold on. Yeah, that shows down yeah, that way, but okay. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, yeah, well, was... hold on. Yeah, we got to get that shit fixed. Uh, but you know, that ain't even here nor there. All right, so if I were your lawyer, I would argue that, uh, what you did to that guy, uh, after he was clearly dead, after he'd been shot by seven cops X amount of times, um, that's desecration of a human corpse at least, not murder. I mean, that that's still a felony, I believe. Right, which would make me lose my job. Well, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't be a government employee with villainy. But I mean, still, I'll pardon you. <laughs> okay. I'll pardon you. Yeah, that would work. Wait, when when did you kill this guy? Well, I, when when we killed him was uh, after he stabbed Tony Andrews in, in the chest. Do you remember the day? Uh, I can find out. It's in, there's an incident for it. Yeah, take a take a peek real quick, because you might just qualify for a 100K expungement that I could help you pay that. Yeah, well, I, I already I gave 170 to the department. I, I have a lot of loans out, so. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, basically, the, uh, they, you know, they, they said it's a problem. They claimed that I went to the mayor and told the mayor about all these problems, and I said, well, shit, no. The mayor came to me over a month ago initially, and it's, it's, and we were running mates in the election. Like, we, we, like, we know each other. We already, well, yeah, you know, I, I think we're all run, running together. So I didn't really they, see they you as took, an opponent. They took the time in, in your review, whatever the fuck this was, to highlight the fact that they didn't like that you talked to me. Yeah, and again, you came to me. And then I kept, I mean, I kept in touch with you, but initially, yeah, you asked me about how the things in the PD were going. And I told him that. I said, yeah, of course. I said, are there, is there ever a time you went to him? I said, probably, but it's because he established that line of communication. He was asking me shit. As he, he's the damn mayor. He can do that. I'm sorry. So, I mean, how did you respond? Uh, that's what I said. I, I told him. I said, what did they say? Uh, they said the mayor said you came to him. And I said, maybe, maybe at some point, probably, yeah, I did, but not initially. Uh, come, came, to you, came to you, or came to you about what? Came to me about what? Uh, complaining about the PD. You didn't, that's not how this works. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a line of communication that's established, and then there's a back and forth. I mean, if it started like a month ago, right? I mean, that's the way that I see it. You don't, you're just, okay, well, I'm not... And then I can't ever talk to you again. Like, shit, we're friends. We, we, we've known each other since the damn election. Oh. Hey, I, I got a question. Okay. You have uh, MDT access right now? Uh, as a lawyer. I'm supposed to have it normally, but, but it's broke. So you can see uh, police announcements right now? 
Uh, I can't, but I can just ask somebody. I'm supposed to be able to. Um, ask a senior officer if they can see an announcement uh, where Brooke Ruth uh, talks about what happened in the meeting with uh, me and the, the other captains and the night before. Uh, yeah, Captain Slacks told me to check the MDT that night uh, to go see it. So, so I'm allowed to see that. Okay. Yeah, you you want me to call somebody? I'll call you back. Yeah, try to get someone. Uh, I was gonna say someone in charge, but I guess they would just be uh, senior or fucking uh, a captain. So try to go for a senior. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember uh, if I had it. Re- you know what? I might have taken a photo. Of it. I just need to know if it's there still. Yeah. Because I, I, um, I'm, I'm told that the uh, the announcement was removed. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, shit, let me call somebody. All right. All right. Call me back. I want some suspenders, dude. That's what I want. I want I want one of those uh holsters on the hip. Or one of one of the uh holsters that gets slung across the shoulder. Perfect, actually. I write rhymes in a box of Nutella. Fight crime because I got no Beretta. Did time because I caught some feta. Not good enough to sub for cheddar. I want cheese. I'm a decent fella. In the sewer, don't worry about weather. Rap tag in your basement. Selling. Yeah. Master Splinter. Tell me about cheese. Cooking like Remy and rather than weed. Float like a butterfly. Sting like tree. Trapped in a rat race, trying to be free. Parmesan, cheddar, jack, even cold tea is the only kind of currency that works for me. Life gets hard from a lab to the city where the grass ain't green and the streets ain't pretty. Pam, bam, bam. 
Stu Brown. Bro looking like an absent father. I need to find a, uh, a holster. I want a holster that goes like right here. Best? I don't know. Where is it, guys? Secret vests. I don't. I don't think the. I don't think the holster is. In vest. The most holsters were undershirts for some reason. You're right, actually. Access to the the one. Just add a minute. I don't know if I can. Disable clothing dev override. Same list. Mm -hmm. 
Bing, 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 bing. It's the same less. That button doesn't do anything, I think, for me. like Magnum PI fucking holster right here, but I don't think I can get it. Shoulder holster. Say my name. Jewel. Julix Pingui? I saw a safe have it. Hmm. Doesn't look like bags. Looks like every bag has a picture, too. Decals? I think we checked decals. Could you change the holster's appearance to second option? What about this right here? Some of them don't have other options. Could it be in her jackets? Uh, could be. I don't think so, though. Wasn't Taser under decals? Pretty sure it wasn't. I'm pretty sure it was undershirts. It might have been, actually. Nothing. Uh, Bro Mage and the Ghost of a Keen Alex or something? Sandbags. in a uh, an admin arena you are an admin yeah but I don't magically know all of the fucking commands that I've never done this before under sure 204 ish Wrong. 
I think these might like literally be locked off. I feel like doing this by default should give me override, but it's not. You notice that the target is you and not someone else? Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> what do you think I'm targeting with that command? <laughs> different admin mode tab in the anime make it give permissions I'm afraid to click those other tabs because I don't know what's gonna show so hold on uh think you'll be able to calm down Mr. K no <laughs> I really don't want to calm him down. That's the thing. Because any amount of chaos he causes is a, uh, a good excuse for me to exert more power. Mm -mm -mm. Chaos is a ladder. <laughs> Tell him about the pardon. Yeah, no, Mr. K is on my call list today. I was just, I got kind of hung up on uh, the holster thing. What's a good song? Okay. You called me at a good time. I didn't care about anything. Not even myself, but I, I think I think I just met the, the one for me. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, aren't you ma just... are, aren't you married to that one uh the one with the big big bahonkers? Oh, that fat titty bitch? Mm -hmm. Nah. Nah, she just one of my little hoes, but I, I just met this shawty. <laughs> I, I didn't care about anything not too long ago. I didn't even care about myself. I didn't care about shit. Wait, what's her name? But then, <laughs> Staniella. I, I can introduce you. Uh, sure. Um, I, I, I called you for a couple of Did you Have you talked to Rami since like uh, two days ago-ish? One day ago about what we talked yeah, about? Yeah, I talked to him, but I, I didn't care about what he was saying at the time. Okay, well, um... Well, yeah, sure. Fuck it. I'll meet. I'll meet Daniela. <laughs> uh, where should I meet you? Um, I don't know. Where are you at? I'm at a jewelry store right now. I'm about to take a shopping. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. Bye. <laughs> I think I'm about to get kidnapped. <laughs> I think I'm about to get fucking kidnapped. No. <laughs> fucking I think I'm getting fucking kidnapped. <laughs> that fucking thing, it just, psh, I don't fuck <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I 
What the fuck, you in eighth gear? Uh, it makes the engine not as loud. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, she's beautiful. She saved me from darkness. I was in such a dark place and then I met this beautiful girl at the right time. Hello. I'm gonna get her tits pierced up here at the jeweler. Uh, Staniella, I'm Max. I'm the mayor. Uh, I'm an old friend of Mr. K here. Um, sorry. Pleasure to meet you. Sorry to interrupt potentially this lovely date. Um, yeah, I talked to Rami and I, I told him that I'm gonna be getting your pardoning process uh, started on, <gasps> on the incident that they fucked you on like three nights ago or some shit. Oh my god, that means I could start a business with my uh, my beautiful wife. <laughs> oh. Oh Are my, did proposing? I just spoil it? I was gonna propose to you in there. <laughs> oh, I, I can't wait. <laughs> Why'd you say Isn't Why? She the best dad? Well, I mean, she sounded kind of hesitant oh, right no, now. I'm, I'm just so excited. <laughs> oh, my, my honey poo is just a little shy one. <clears throat> All right, cool. Um, Yeah, just, I, I just want to check up on how you're doing, man, because I know that uh, you kind of got, oh, you, uh, got, you kind of got fucked on Letter of the Law a couple nights ago. Yeah. They pretty much admitted to not doing any type of police work or investigation and I got fucking still fucked. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that's why the pardoning process exists is to give justice to look, I, I cannot believe the opportunity that the police department effectively squandered by fucking you that day. It really is, it has sent spirals throughout fucking Los Santos. They chose it to be that way. You know what they said in court? They uh, said, we said, so if it's standard procedure to GSR and search everyone on the scene of a shooting, why was only Mr. K and Rami uh, a GSR and search and not the other people you guys were talking to? They said, oh, must have been an oversight. Oh my god, man. Can you believe <laughs> no, that? No, an oversight. no fucking way. Um, uh, there's also, I have other, I have other good news. Um, I'm going to be ordering the police, which are now under my jurisdiction, to order uh, to arrest Captain Brooke Ruth or Ruth Brooke or whatever the fuck her name is for treason. <laughs> what did you just say? I said that Captain Ruth suggested treason in the mayor's office about three nights ago, and I'm going to order her fellow police officers to arrest her and put on her put her on a 24-hour hold for investigative <laughs> purposes. <laughs> Treason? Treason. What'd she do? Uh, well, I, so I called all these captains into the meeting with me uh, the night before the council meeting where I was going to present my plan to effectively give the, the police department some oversight. And in response to a lot of uh, the things I... Like, first of all, I, I was being more than generous with these motherfuckers. I was saying, hey, listen, let's work together. You know, I'm extending the olive branch. Uh, I want you guys to be there while we try to figure out what the problem is so on and so forth and instead they were kind of very defensive obviously they're fucking cops and the thing uh, w when we got toward the end of our conversation uh, and the reality was be beginning to set in Ruth turned to the other captains and said well why don't we just vote to overthrow the power of the council then treason Yep. Oh my god. Uh, well, when's it going down? Uh, probably today if she's still around. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, let me know. I'll be posted at the, outside of the PD watching. Yep, it'll be good. Yeah, I'll call you, man. Oh my god, that is great news. Thank you so much, Dava. I'm gonna go fuck my wife. Sick. Uh, also, one, one, uh, one, one miscellaneous detail you might find interesting is that uh, in my arguments with them in my office that night, um, Captain Ruth seemed to think that the police department was a branch of government. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? She thinks she really is part of the government? She thinks that the, she, she, she thought the police department was a branch of government and should not be held uh, that that it that it existed within a system of checks and balances that already existed instead of them being a police department, which they are, uh, and which currently, I mean, they used to not have any oversight. Now they do. Uh, look, it was fucked. It was fucked. So up. she thought the wall didn't apply to her. Yeah, yeah, and that's that, crazy. Yeah, yeah. And she was a captain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know what the fucked up part is when she said that shit? Um, neither one of those captains said a fucking thing. <laughs> of course they didn't. The 
fucking course. Because they don't got the cojones to say shit. That's right. All right, look, I, I don't want to interrupt your date anymore. Ah! Hey, Kay, if you need anything, fucking call me. I'm going to be around all day today. All right. I, I appreciate it. I'm going to go celebrate and uh, bang my, my wife's brains out right now. Sick. Oh, I, I can't wait. Have fun, ma'am. <laughs> He's got a big schlong. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> hey, not kidnapped success. Dude, I thought that that, first of all, that Staniella didn't exist, and that, yeah, I was gonna kidnap 100%. Oh, it's a setup, it's a setup, it's a setup. Marty Banks, how doth I do, my son? Hey, what's up, Mr. Mayor? Um, I'm all right, how are you? I'm good. I'm chilling right now. I got a, a couple of things I got to sort out on the administrative side. Okay, but, um, damn it. Fuck. You don't have, like, a few minutes of your time? Yeah, I got, I got as much time as you need, dog. Oh, okay. Um, I'm trying to look at some of the business properties, right? Because, like, mm -hmm. we're going we're gonna to open the casino soon, and I kind of want to get out of the fucking casino. I mean, like, the location, like, the house itself. Uh, right. Southside, Southside sucks, Dick. <laughs> yeah pretty fucking fast and I want to look at like some of the business property and like see inside is that something like you can like show me real quick so I don't I, I, so I mean look kill all this shit okay I'm the mayor the mayor has the yeah. key to the city that's kind of like the American okay. trope right um okay. except I don't actually have the key to the city and I can't go into any building that I want to <laughs> no fucking way yeah they, they fucking neutered wow. my role man I, I've had to build it up from nothing <laughs> Wait, so can anybody? So can anybody I, like look through that stuff? A, a judge might be able to. But the mayor can't. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucked. The DOJ this has a bullshit. lot of a lot of unchecked power, but you know, they've been responsible with it so far. How about you grab a how about you look through the mayor's office, grab a key and we'll figure it out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um the, the key doesn't exist, is what I'm saying. I, I there is, I, I, like, I, look, if it, if I had the ability to do this and potentially break the law, I would do it, because I, I'm sure we wouldn't get caught. I literally cannot do it. Fuck. Okay, so if, uh, what about, um, okay. If I need to get, like, if there is someone that has keys, uh, can I have them call you to, like, get permission or whatever the fuck, like, look through this shit real quick? Um, yeah, well, that's not something I can get permission for. Uh, actually, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, do that. Dude, you're the fucking mayor. Just say yeah. They're gonna be like, okay. Well, yeah. Mayor said so. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Listen, as mayor, bro, I'm sure. I'm, I'm actually almost 100 percent sure. Like certain roles and permissions and things that you can actually like say yes or no to that don't exist. If you just say that they do exist and that you can approve or deny these things, I guarantee you, no one's gonna fucking raise an raise an eyebrow. I guarantee you. So, so. you say that, but I I've had to, it's like I'm walking through a mired swamp every time I try to exercise any amount of power. By who? Who's uh, pressing the, you? the rest of my fucking council members, man, dude. I, there's you a, want me to fucking you want me to clap them up? That's the thing, you know. Um, I don't know if it's Jazzy, gotten... Jazzy, get, Jazzy, get the no, shit. No, 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 It hasn't, it hasn't gotten to that point. It hasn't gotten to that point. Okay. Um, All right, listen, if we're going down to that, bro, you need someone to get fucking, you need someone to take care of an issue, bro, an issue that you legally cannot take care of, bro, you give me your fucking ring any time of the damn day, all right? So I got one thing you can do okay. for me. Okay. Uh, you know who the treasurer is? Um, that would be, fuck, I know, I knew who it was. Who is it again? Uh, Edda Hath uh, Edda Hawthorne. Edda Hawthorne. That's right. Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend's a cop. Okay. Uh, Philippa Cantor. She's the uh, medical liaison. Okay. Or Nakoda, the uh, the police liaison. If you yep, if you can get any of their phones, uh, I'll pay you a lot of money. Like steal their phone. Yep. Officer Nakoda, yep. Edda Hawthorne, yep. Edda Hawthorne's boyfriend, and Philippa. Uh, Philippa, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Cantor. Philippa. Philippa Cantor. Mm hmm And what's Etta Hawthorne's boyfriend's name? Uh, it's going to be Sh Sean Maple, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. He, he, you don't have to fuck with him at all. Um, and I have mayoral approval for this, right? <laughs> no, this, this is this is, this is is Max to Marty right now. <laughs> right. Okay, but if anything goes down and I get caught, I'm about to be uh, expunged of my record, clean slate, no issues, right? 
Am I, I to be I, forgiven I, for my heinous crimes? I, I will help you pay for... Oh, fuck. Now the, the expense will be too expensive if you get caught now. Uh, do you have a gun? I would like to apply for a gun license, sir. <laughs> I'm not felonious. What's so funny? No, I, I just assumed you would have had a gun by now. That's all. Well, uh, well, I, gun licenses won't be in until next week sometime. Wait, really? Yeah, we have. Why do I, why do why do people keep telling me that I'm going? I you can get a gun license this, gun license that, gun license this, gun license that, and I see no fucking legislation. It's because it's not passed yet. That's why. It, that's but like, why how do people know? Like, where are they getting the inside fucking? Scoop? Uh, the people are gravely misinformed a lot of the fucking time. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, put maybe put this plane on the back burner for like a week or so. Uh, until uh, you get a gun or whatever. I'll be paying for the license and shit, uh, and that'll be my payment for the job. How's that sound? Okay, deal. Okay. Um, obviously, if you get caught, can't come back to my me. My problem. <laughs> right. okay. okay, I got you. Yeah. This conversation uh, never fucking happened. That's, that's right. right. Um, as for the business properties, if you can figure out a way to get in there, I would be glad to take the, in quotes, fall for that one if you get caught doing whatever the fuck they might try to car charge you for doing. If, if a cop were to magically wander by while you were doing it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Love you. Bye bye. Didn't say it back. I hung up. Did the text change on this? No, I didn't. Bobby Charles Expungent DSC ETC. Okay. You know, my motorcycle is somewhere on Elgin. Hi. What, what happened? I was driving my motorcycle like I do, and a local pulled out into me. I went flying. The local got out of the car and beat the shit out of me. <laughs> and who shows up but some guy and Jenny Hall, and the guy was like, uh, 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 she's probably worth a lot. We should kidnap her and hold her for a ransom. And then Jenny talked him out of it. Is the guy wearing cardboard by chance? No, he was not wearing cardboard. Is, is he walking like a hunchback? No, he's not watching like walking like a hunchback. Uh, Jenny was with a guy last night who met both of those descriptors, and he fucking pulled me out of the Landstalker and threw me on the pavement. I had to pull my gun on him. Holy shit. Yeah. Damn, she, she's hanging out with some fucking weirdos, dog. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would agree with you. He's a weirdo. Who the fuck's Elgin? The way that he would... He wanted to take a picture of me incapacitated in the hospital bed while he crawled in with me. I'm like, that's weird, and you're weird. You catch his name? Uh, Dickhead is all I heard is his name. <laughs> I do not know his government name. Well, I know. That is the name I, he gave. I know Dickhead. Great. Well, he wanted to kidnap me. <laughs> he. He might do it, so. <laughs> all right, I'm really glad Jenny was there to talk him out of it because it would have happened otherwise. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then Vingle Dan. Vingle Dan ruining my life. Yeah, how'd that go? <laughs> there was a point, I can't remember, like the third or fourth time he ran, he ran us off the road, and I was trying my best. I was screaming that I did visualize holding a bowling ball above your balls and maybe dropping it. A what? I'm an, I'm an old man. I, 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 I got to get my rest occasionally and spontaneously and for long lengths of time. <laughs> yeah, listen, I, I understand that, you know, important things have to happen on occasion. It was just hella fucking timing. Yeah, it was terrible timing. 
my. So we're on El we're on Elgin is your bike exactly. Um. Okay. I El Elgin is Spanish. Oh, that's up there. Sorry. Yeah. What, what were we saying? I don't remember. I'm. I had I had bingo that nightmares, and you don't know what happened. You don't even know what happened after. Nope. Oh my god! I went to the PD to give a statement. Okay. Guess who's in the fucking lobby talking to the receptionist? Bingo Dan! He followed! This motherfucker he is followed. a ghost. <laughs> How the he followed me? He followed us down. He was still fucking following. Is he in was he is he in jail? Uh um uh, yeah, I, I saw Captain Ruth put him in handcuffs. Or fist cuffs, arm cuffs, on show. Did he just cuffs surrender? Of some kind. No, um, I do not think he was trying to surrender. I think he was just waiting for me to come out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's really... He was willing to wait in MRPD lobby to stalk me down. I mean, it's kind of a genius plan if you think about it. It actually is pretty smart. And, like, I mean, the car was parked out front, so he knew I hadn't left. Yep. Um, I can't uh, find your bike. Um, on Elgin in Spanish, it's like right a little bit north of that, a little bit north, and I think they parked it on the sidewalk. Oh, is that the it's top of the like, hill? Um, it's like mid hill. Okay. On the going north side, northbound side sidewalk. Okay. Um, I mean you don't have keys for it. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to see if it was still here. I'm sure it is. Or it's exploded because somebody ran it over. Unsure. I am not seeing any charred ashes right now. Well, that's good at least. Um, yeah, Bingle, Bingle Dan is um, a menace. I don't know what happened to Arnold. Wait, who's Arnold? The guy that he was holding hostage oh, trying he's... to fucking lure us to City Hall. I don't know if that guy's missing an arm too or what. Yeah, he's probably dead, but... <laughs> no, I, I talked to him he, uh, when he was in the hospital. And the cops were there taking a statement. Um, so I know that he's alive, but I don't know what's happened to him. Oh. I don't know if he's missing anything. I just know that he's alive. Well, and, uh, uh, you know, I guess a warrant. Eh, yeah, I, I guess he wouldn't have a warrant now, huh? He's been processed. Yeah, yeah, I checked. He's already been processed, which means he's already back out on them streets looking for killing. Now... Uh, the, the system certainly has its perks and its downfalls, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. It sure does. Um, you know, if he keeps us up, though, right? Five? That's an ego act, and that's a hut. And then I'll feel much better. Then again, the judges will probably just let him out on bail because they don't give a fuck. Um, wait, how many more times? Three more times. Yeah. yeah. So... I can't find your shit. Okay. Well, thank you for looking. I'm going to feel really stupid when I pick you up and then we find it instantly. <laughs> yeah, that's probably going to happen. Um. Oh, God. Carmela is spamming me. She wants her 5000 back because I can't s do her law her civil court shit. Wait, what? I just, I, no, nothing. She's just, she's just, she's, she is something else. I had to give up all my cases, and so now she wants her $5,000 back that she had paid me for a case. What's it's fine. I'm going to give you? it back to her. Yeah, oh. what's she going to do? Go right here. <laughs> I mean, technically, I feel like this is my money that she owes me when she scammed me. Just keep it. Fuck it. Make her go to court for it. Yeah, yeah, possibly. Um... Yeah, she did fucking uh, scam us. She scammed us. She scammed us out of forty-five fucking hundred dollars on the bed. So like, you know, I might transfer five hundred and be like, uh, put a comment where I'm like, case uh, payback minus uh, bed scam or something. <laughs> Give her the five hundred. Be like, okay, now we're even. Okay. You think you think she? You think it's possible that she doesn't know that she scammed us? Oh, she knows. She knows that she scammed us. She's very much aware that she scammed us. It was an intentional scam. 
that was not an unintentional oopsie. I, I, I accidentally had you pay for two things. Had you pay for my bed and yours. Fuck it. No, she knows what she did. Yeah, give her a, a receipt for the, uh, the bed scam, though. That'll be fun. Okay, perfect. I will. That'll be hilarious. Okay, um, yeah, uh, uh, there, I literally can't even like function to try to tell you what happened with the Bingo Dan shit. Uh, to, to tell you what you what you missed while you were resting your eyes, other than to say uh, when the car got fucked up and and, and driven on, and like rammed off the road, and I tried to control it, but I got it all the way to the prison. Okay, I'm like this is a place where I know I was on the phone with Forte, just screaming the entire time. Yeah. And um, uh, I wanted to run away from the car, and then I remembered that you were asleep in it, and I had to <laughs> stay there. And I had to stay there just oh. waiting for him, but I heard his footsteps coming. I swear to God, well, what's I he gonna he do? Nearby when the cops showed up, lock the doors. He's a he's a. Old... They were locked. But what's he gonna do? I don't know. I kept thinking that like any moment now, I'm gonna like turn around and he's gonna like already be in the back seat. All right, now I gotta look. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is that? That's oh, the phone. I got a nightmare that he was in my that he was in the trunk. That was my nightmare. My nightmare was that he was in the trunk, just right. waiting. Right. Till now, after. now I gotta open the trunk. <laughs> yeah, I feel a lot better knowing he's not in the trunk. Uh, no bingle, no bingle. Oh, good. Okay. I feel a little bit better. I'll probably still have that as a recurring nightmare for the rest of my life, though. I'm gonna need therapy. Well, hey. Therapy builds a better person, right? Yeah, it does. I mean, therapy is good. Yeah, yeah. it does. I mean, I, I think everyone could use therapy. Let's be real. At least in this city. <laughs> okay, I give up trying to find this. Uh, I'm going to pick you up in a couple minutes. Just gotta okay, take... I'll come downstairs. Well, are you... Where are you? I'm in, the, I'm in the chief of staff office. Oh, I'm in my office. Yeah, I had a maid go in there and clean up the piss, by the way. Oh, thanks. I'm glad. Is, is, that, is that what that smell is? It smells a lot like bleach. Yeah, it's bleach. <laughs> it's better than ammonia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll call you uh, when I'm, I want to arrive. Okay. Okay. All right. See you soon. Bye. Yo. Yo, excuse me. What's up? You got a repair kit uh, for for us? Is, yeah, is it for the uh, trash truck right there? Yeah, yeah. My buddy kicked it by mistake. Um, I do not, but I can go down the street and see okay. if the cop has one. Would you mind? I I'll appreciate bear back. it. Thanks, man. Is that Turgle's car? Hi. Hi. Um, hey, what's up? I'm the mayor. Oh, howdy, howdy. mayor. Uh, uh, Buck, what's wrong? Buck, oh, do you what? Like my, do where, you like my arm? Where the fuck yeah. did your arm go, Buck? Do you like my arm? I assume I got ripped off by a beast or something. I don't know. All right, so what just can I flash, flash your IDs for me, guys? Yeah, uh, absolutely. No problem. Hey, Bam, I, I need to talk to you as well. What happened? Uh, uh the Bush family did it to me. Like Donald Bush? Donald Bush, the 22nd. <laughs> it's highly possible. He stabbed me in the spine. I lost nerve. I, lo I guess I had, uh, got some nerve damage on my left arm. My left arm started turning purple. They couldn't get it back, so they amputated the son of a bitch. Oh my god. So problem. now I right. want. I, I need a. Oh, I need a, a, a prosthetic, but yeah. I'm trying to go for like a Will Smith All type right. of prosthetic. So like we'll like iRobot? Yeah. 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 All right. You guys, yeah. Uh, be safe out there, all right? Fuck, man. Yeah, but I don't know how much that's going to cost. Love your shirt, by the way. Maybe we should uh, state order these all Donald right. Bushes to be just As shot I said, on it's sight. Highly <laughs> yeah, maybe. Mostly possible. They, they seem like they're yeah, damaging lives. Right? Day by day. Day by day. Uh, you, have, you have a repair kit on you by chance? It's, very, it's highly mm, possible. I have it's, it in my locker room. Uh, I'm, I'm going to grab it's, one from uh, Bam. There, there's a good shot. Okay. Bam. Okay. Man, yes, sir. Do you have a repair kit on you by chance? No, oh, here you Do go. I have Mr. a repair Mayor? kit? Yeah, I have a tool set. Yeah. Uh, oh, can, okay. I, can I get one of those? No, yeah, can. yeah, you can get one of those. Thank you, sir. You want some moldy bread in exchange? <laughs> 15 bucks. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'll give you this hamburger. That's like 45 bucks. 
A burgy? Yeah. Oh, right, oh look, like freaking gas station burger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came back, uh, I came over here because uh, uh, there's a guys down the street that have a broken down trash truck, so I'm just going to run this oh, over yeah, to them real cool. quick. Is that all you needed? You yeah, 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 yeah. For, for now, for now, for now. Why are those characters even allowed on the server? What characters? Donald Bush? Donald Bush is fun. It, Buck Buck didn't have to choose to have his like Buck didn't need to have his arm chopped off. That's something that he like decided to do. So Greetings! Oh hello. Man, you're the best, appreciate you. I got one. I mean they throw you some cash? Nope. Okay. Oh, Alright, well. Much appreciated. Courtesy of the mayor. <laughs> oh, the mayor. Oh. oh, wait, I met you before. Yep. Oh, what up, mayor? Your gas station. What's it? Uh, Max. You were the mayor. Mm -hmm. Mayor mm -hmm. Max. Yep. How that's, you doing? That's me. Uh, I'm good. I'm, I got meetings out the wazoo right now. I can imagine. So, what did what'd you guys end up hitting that caused this uh, mass uh, destruction? Oh, yeah. Go ahead and tell him, Jack. Uh, uh, my my steel toe boots. I, oh, my right. You kicked it. So that's right. so strong. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you gotta be careful, man. That's like some fucking, that's some Steven Seagal tier strength, man. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, I gotta Thanks, go. Man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Plus respect. Do you think, uh, you know, if you're not too busy, there's something you can do about the job all the time? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, give me a, give me a gun license. They, they're coming, guys, in like a week, okay? Thank you. That was Bush 23. <laughs> you get a response to the gun holster thing? Oh, let me check. I gotta ask a dev. Jojo facing for Zubbit. Where's the hard base? Cop on the roof. I'll be right back. What's that?
в тему данное говно Ваши вайбопы матрас в наших плеерах хардбас СПБ и МСК, наш проект два города Пациков не прет обстеп, через бочку рубит клэп Люди и все без препаратов, будьте рад для деградатов Кто хардбасик перестал, знайки все наркотикал Пацаны наркотикал, в школе в коробке сдавал Наркота, стойник класса, учит вас школа хардбаса Нам хардбасером давно не в тему данное говно Наркотик кау. Наркотик не класс. Я еду на Харбас. Если ты не знал. Наркотик кау. Наркотик не класс. Я еду на Харбас. Если ты не знал. Наркотик кау. Hey, Max. Yo, so. Wait, there's a. Hello? Hey, hello. Sorry, never mind. Continue. Hey, no, you're good. Um, I've been dealing with uh, Bobby Charles, uh, his expungement, and uh, he wants to get his record cleaned and all this shit. Yeah. Um, and I know they did. Uh, uh, I don't know if it was last week or the week before uh, when we were sitting uh, in the courtroom the other day. Yeah. The... Talking about that whole plan that you had to throw him and uh, Carmine up there well, to let, run DOC. Let's let's be clear. That is a. Uh... That is a certified TM Allen Crane slash Maximilian Thoroughbred plan. <laughs> right. So certified TM, you two, y'all, y'all got this plan, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Uh, I was wondering, clear. like, where that needs, to, like, if that's coming along soon or not, uh, th uh, this, and if uh, if the if the expansion firm needs to be like fast track if that's the case. Okay, so it's gonna be this Saturday. Okay. Um. I'm gonna write it in such a way that they do not. It doesn't matter if they're felons. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this isn't. This isn't going to be a uh, a righteous, honorable position. This is going to be two of the most deplorable people I know are being given oversight of this deplorable place because I and others do not want to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's reasonable. Um, uh, but uh, hey, you don't. Do, don't, do I'm, 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 not, I'm not telling him that. Let him pay his hundred thousand yeah. and let him get his expungement type deal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, don't tell him 
because that's still a hundred thousand dollars for the state. <laughs> yeah, let him let him do that if he so chooses. He still has aspirations of being a police officer someday. Um, but oh okay. Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he has he thinks he's gonna be a cop, but uh, you know, uh, cool. Uh, we'll lob it up and uh, we'll get that. Uh, good to know that the two are not dependent on one another though. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so I wanted right. to check in with you one. Yep. Yeah, good luck. Yep, yep, take care. <laughs> oh, my. Imagine getting pulled over by Bobby Charles. Oh, Cornwood. Bye. Hey, uh, oh, Mac, what up? Move. How's it going? What up, Xavier? Hey, well, I, you doing, Mr. Mayor? I'm looking, you? Oh, I, you? I'm, looking for, I'm looking for my wife. Hey. <laughs> Wait, so, so, you got dad from a professional. So why, why did you say you couldn't discuss things with Saul? Got a lick in. I have a question for you. I got a question for you. How do you feel about uh, prosecuting treason? Oh, I would love to. I nice. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta call my wife to see where she's at real quick. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, where are you? I'm in the back parking lot with Norman, where the garage thing, the, you know what I mean? The back yeah. parking lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll come okay. out there. All right, uh, yeah, what's up? Let's walk and talk. Uh, is it just my eyes fucking with me, or did you get your tattoo removed? It's your eyes fucking with you. Okay, just checking. Uh, I, I know a little bit about what's going on with that, but uh, can you give me, like, the, the details on that? Because I've only heard, uh, you know, stories from other stories from other stories. So, uh, I had a meeting with the, the three LSPD captains mm -hmm. the night before the last council meeting. Yeah. Well, let me do something real quick. Yeah, you're fine. Fuck! Hey, what up? God damn it. Okay. Uh, here's what happened. We... Uh, I met with them. I tried to get them on board with working with me. Uh, mm -hmm. it, mostly as a courtesy, because they ultimately had no dis no say in the matter, right? Right, yeah, if you have the votes, right? You um, just aren't talked about that. Uh, they were resistant, defensive, um, and... Big surprise. Toward the, toward the end of the meeting, uh, Ruth turned to the other captains, looked at them, and said, what if we voted to overthrow the power of the council? <clears throat> What? Yeah. That's that's insurrection, yeah. So what I need first is for her to be thrown in jail for 24 hours. And then the the other stuff that I need is uh we need subpoenas on their phone records. Um but we need to find if there if there's more to it than her trying to pass it off as a joke, which is what they ended up trying to do. So Two questions. One, did the vote pass? Yep. Okay. And two, is the commissioner still a sitting officer? Like they yeah, can they the, can make arrest there with full. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, he, he, they're gonna be a cop, and they're they're not okay. even going to answer to me, right? I just need, okay. There just needs to be that level of um power, or there needs to be that mm -hmm. level of chain of command. Where is my back parking lot? Hold on. Is that money? Yeah, actually. Marked Group 6 cash. Oh, don't pick that shit up. That's a felony. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Two 
others that are going Wowie, to Wowie, Zowie. Hi. <laughs> yeah, and I know I know two others that are lined up for this week. So. You uh, you slash the back of your skirt. Uh, yeah, they're they're they're, they're tasteful cutouts. Nice. Tasteful cutouts. Um, what's up? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're good. I was just uh, I was just letting her know because I called her when I couldn't get hold of you, but I let her know that we talked. So we're good about the whole Bobby thing. Uh, okay, good. Well, I gotta yeah, call someone. Yeah, cool. She crash. <laughs> What's going on, Matt? Yeah, hey, uh, what do you need to talk about? Uh, did Slacks call you? Uh, no. Well, actually, what the he. Fuck? He, uh, I do have a missed call from him. I gotta call him back. Uh, this would have been like yeah. two, two days ago. Oh, two days ago? Or like a day ago, maybe. Yeah, probably about well, a day ago. Slacks can open it, but he needs your permission. Open what? The, uh, business properties for me to look at. Oh, did you, have you talked to him today? Yeah, literally just like 20 minutes ago, and then I said he would talk to you, but I guess he didn't call. Okay, um, yeah, I'll give him permission. Uh, can you call him and tell him? Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Howdy, Mayor. Hey, Leonardo. How was your shift? Uh, not good. Two officers have been kidnapped and shot. We're dealing with somebody who to be involved right now. So a pursuit going on. Are you in a chase right now? Uh, I was dealing with the interference. I had to break off. I can help you. Um, so Marty Banks called me and asked about, uh, or he told me that you need permission for me to, in order to go into uh, potential business properties and stuff. Correct, correct. Yeah, uh, you you have my 100% permission to always do that for people if you need to. Sounds good. I just want to make sure I got permission to stay before opening any keys or doors. That's all. Yeah, I mean, as long, if you're giving them a tour, I've, I feel like that's something that we should be able to do anyway. So, yeah, go ahead. If you've got the time, then always. Absolutely. Okay, we'll help out with that. Thank you for your permission. All right, thank you. Mm, 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 mm. Where's my? Oh, my car's out front. <laughs> Didn't say love you, cause he doesn't love them. It's Max's opinion of slacks. He thinks he's a uh, kind of a fence sitter, I guess. It's like Mr. K has been busy. Yeah, we don't know in character what he's doing, though. So. <laughs> Does sound like he's been busy, though. This is his opinion of Ruth. A true, honest opinion. Um... First of all... He knows that it's kind of borderline to get her on treason. <laughs> kind of uh, exacerbating the issue. Uh, he thinks that she's incompetent. Uh, case in point, she thought that the police department was a, a branch of government. I have to sign in, then I gotta go see Carmilla again. Ugh. All right, hop in. Okay. The mayor's right here. Yeah, you need it, a mask it, for me. Yeah, it's gonna be like that for a while. Okay. Is there right yeah, on yeah right everyone, everyone can hop in if they want to. Wait, now you're fine. All right, I'll talk, you in a, I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, all right, all right, At least they're part of the executive okay. branch. Uh, Did you talk to Norman? I'll, I'll yeah, to they're subservient to, to the mayor's office. Hello? I think it sounds good. We need to. Bye bye. Did you talk to Norman? Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just make sure. Yeah, we're good. I just need to be corn wood for two seconds. Okay. Oh, hey, Mayor Thoroughbred. Yeah? What do you got going on this sick? Would you, would you want to talk to an officer? She's she's calling me. Who? She is. Uh, Dana Blackwell. Absolutely. Wait, I know Blackwell. Uh, yeah, oh, he says he knows Blackwell, and absolutely. I mean, yeah, either way, up to you. I mean, if, if you want to talk to him. Absolutely. Who's placenta? I mean, what, what, what is your? What, what are you worried about? Okay. Um. So, are you setting up this meeting or what? <laughs> Wait. What? Okay. Here, Me? y'all go. I'll, no, I'll, I'll, no, I'll shoot no, you. No, no. I'll shoot okay, you. Okay, 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 okay.
I'm not gonna make my alt commissioner, guys. <laughs> I, I, I gotta talk to, to Norman here in a second too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Here, let me hang up because I'm in the car with a bunch of folks. Uh, but okay, yeah, just call. Him. I will see you. Here, uh, Xavier, can I get the keys to your car? Yeah. Can you give me keys from here? Uh, what up, Dana? I think you might already have hey, keys. Mayor. It's, uh, been like, it's, been, it's been a million years since we talked. No, but I'm so yeah, dead ass it about a, it, dog. A lot of mismatch of schedule. And to be honest, Hello, Mr. Mayor. I think right. when, every time you great. wake up, I go to sleep. You look great today. Thank Fuck you. I'm on the phone. Um. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Where would you, where would you, would you like to speak somewhere? Sure. Uh, do you mind if my wife slash chief of staff is there? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, I mean, because she's going to find out anyways. So. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, we can speak. Uh, she could be there. I don't mind. Hi. Uh, where are you at? Uh, I mean, I'm at the PD, but I don't want to talk here. Are you on duty right now? Yes. Uh, go off duty and then we can talk. I don't think I have a choice to do that, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. Um. Is everything all right, Mr. Z? Is there anything I can help with? Uh, I. Not on this one. No. Okay. No, no worries. Am. I may have cases for you, though. Sounds Going good. to come pick you up. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. I'll, I'll be at the front then. I was gonna. I was gonna. So what? What they mean by that is uh, they have cop prio and they they are afraid that if they go off duty, that they'll up. they'll City they'll is be going in trouble shit. for doing non cop stuff. And I I was wrestling with the idea of being like, mm, you're good to do this. How are you two doing today? I don't know if that's overstepping. Uh, I'm doing good. We got a lot of a lot of stuff we got to handle. Um, yeah. Lot of stuff. Yep. Okay, so we were talking about Ruth, and I think we left off at. Um, so there was a meeting with the three captains. I know, I know about that. And then you said the vote passed, and so. Nice hair, Dana. Hello. Yeah, changed my hairstyle. This is uh, this is Dana Blackwell. You guys. Oh. Uh, up front is my wife, Siobhan, the chief of staff. Uh, in the back is hey, is one of my lawyers, Xavier Monroe. Um, yeah, I think I met them both. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. You met before. So, what do you uh, what do you need to talk about, Dana? Is David gonna listen as well? He um, fuck Xavier. I'll drop you off. Actually, this might be okay. Uh, I'll debrief you on this whole thing uh, very soon, sometime in the, the next hour or so. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be around. All right, where, where's your car at? Uh, back at City Hall of Cornwood. All right. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Ow. Ooh. <clears throat> uh, yeah. That was a lot like last night. <laughs> yeah, except I did that on purpose. <laughs> what does that mean? Vingle uh, Dan stalked and harassed and, and tried to, to murder us with a car. Who's Vingle Dan? Vingle Dan with a V, like Victor. Um. He is a, a pure evil. I think he might be the devil, to be honest. I'm not sure. The Maybe the Antichrist. Meet up with you guys. Okay. I think he good. might be the Antichrist. Right. See you in a bit. Bye, Xavier. Bye. Well, yeah, I'm going to answer this phone call real quick. Okay. What up, Glorion? Hey, man. What's up? What you doing? Uh, working hard. Making money. So, what's up? Uh... I, you you probably know everything about you know how business is going to going to operate in the future, right? Yep. Uh, Ellen's can't own and run one, right? Correct. How would it work if a business were to be operated out of a felon's like property, though? Uh, right now, I don't think that there are any uh, uh, there's any oversight for that, so you could probably get away with it. All right, I figured as much. Uh, probably in due time there's going to be you know 
something against that. Yeah, there might be, but at, at that point, that person, if it's really a huge issue, they could just probably figure out a way to transfer ownership. Yeah, we were thinking about, you know, the we are about to buy the property for, the, you know, the main Are you with Marty? That, huh? No. Oh, okay. All right. Did he have the same question? No, but he's, he's looking at business properties right now. Oh, yeah. We're thinking about, you know, the maid cafe that Jaeger wanted and about to pull the trigger on the house. How expensive is it? Uh, I think 300 give or take. Damn, you guys have that much fucking money? <laughs> We've been making a lot of money, man. All right. Uh, any other questions? I, I, I got a meeting that I got to get to. Uh, no. You, you, you want to hang out later? Yeah, we can hang out later. Fuck it. I, I, I miss you, man. You've been gone. Yeah, I know. Yeah, let's hang out. All right. Ooh. Okay, love you. Love you, too. Sorry, Dana. All right, have your undivided attention. Mm -hmm. Any other phone calls will be getting hang up, hanged up, uh, if. Thank you. Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Beb? Yeah. Conjure the note taker. I'm already ready. Nice. I'm already ready. I've already just pepped it. I just got her CID for the record. I, I snapped a screenshot of her MDT profile, so we have, like, you know, name to the face and everything, just for clarity of <clears throat> note taking. I'm ready. Sick. Okay, so it's kind of going to be a repeat of the conversation that I just had with the captain, but I had, for the course of a month, a couple of issues that I brought up, even, like, some were more meaningless, some were more meaningful for the, you know, for the betterment of the department. Because, I mean, you know how I am. I mean, I worked on an expedition for the well-being of the city, and anything that I do is for the well-being of the department. I never did anything for myself, because that's not the way that I'm going to learn the best. So, I expressed to the captain of how much of a shit show my shift is, uh, the shift one, mm -hmm. and explained to me, explained to him how um, I don't trust my direct seniors, my two seniors and my captain in my shift because every time they come talk to me is about disciplinary stuff which they they never, I never see them trying to raise any morale at all any to try and motivate people to try and bring them up, never seen that and the conversation was going good with captain it was captain slacks that I was talking to because he's the only person that has seen all of my work and knows that I'm working you know for the well-being of the people in the department right but at the at the end of it at, or not the end of it but midway through the conversation he started bringing up a situation for me that happened 10 days ago and he issued me a dap in the middle of my heart to heart uh what was the dap for and that was for unprofessionalism because uh, I uh, apparently it was viewed as unprofessional for me to ask the client to remove a lawyer that was being a complete and other asshole to me. He didn't even choose to give me the time of day to even speak. And I was only honest to Abdul. I said, I we can discuss your situation if uh, this person is not present here. Because there was already another lawyer in the cells. We are. He, he had a whole legal team down there. I just didn't want that specific person because that that specific person was not working for Abdul. He was just trying to get under my skin. Okay. Um, and, then, and, and, uh, and I even had the. Oh, you're gonna oh you go on. You go. On. Uh, and I even had. You know, I was running this a whole entire thing with a senior alongside me too. And he was fine with all of it. And even then, they all gave me their approval afterwards. But then, at the end of the day, I still got that for it. I don't know why, and I know what the fuck why. Who do you, who do you think reported? I mean, the lawyers apparently still passed it, and the reason why I kind of asked Xavier to get out of here because he's the one. Even he wasn't even there, but he's the one pressing the situation more to the captains, and I got that because of it. Wait, he's I, the, I don't really, you know, I kind of get the that oh. situation. I kind of get it, but the thing is, my problem isn't the DAP itself. It's the the, the thing that he said. It, he said it was it was either gonna be him dapping me or Ruth gonna was gonna dap me tomorrow, and that's the problem because the only time that she comes to talk to me is for daps, is for uh, disciplinary stuff. She doesn't care about the well-being of the shift. She doesn't care about how their officers are. She just wants to do punishments and correct people, and that's that to me is not what a leader should do. 
Yeah, I mean, she's she's not leadership material. She is a uh, a power hungry coward who uh, threatened treason in my office when I told them that they would be getting some oversight from the mayor's office. <clears throat> and she denied me a security. I know, you know, there always has to be the bad guy, right? There's always has to be the person that gives out punishments. But in that same coin, that same person needs to be the one that brings up people that needs to, you know, motivate them, mo uh, make them achieve, you know, try to achieve further. But they right. don't do that. You know how much it pains me when I I'm talking with a senior, right? Uh, and in the conversation that I'm talking with him, we're talking about uh, a couple of things. And I told him because I even had a cadet just run up to me and ask me something. And after that, I mentioned, you know, that, that's funny that I, I'm known as the senior skip. They always come to me to ask me for things. They come to ask me. You are know, you, are you a senior? About... No, I'm not. Okay. okay. They, they'd rather come to me most of the time because I know a, a bunch of stuff. You know, I, I achieve to know everything. To the best of my ability, so I can answer those questions to cadets, to, even to other officers, right? And when I mentioned this to him, his response was, oh, I don't want people to come for me for that shit. I, I like more the disciplinary stuff. And I'm like, what? More, you like more of the what? Disciplinary action stuff, you know? Wait, so that, who, that who said, who said disciplinary? This? Yeah, disciplinary. Um, uh, who said this? Jackson. Okay. Aldo Jax. Yeah, Aldo. Okay. So, what, uh, what do you think the issue is? Issue is that don't... They, they, and this is... Uh, I'm going to quote my sheriff here. Oh, who's your sheriff? Hornwood. Of course. Go on. I'm going to quote my sheriff because in my shift, shift one, we spend more time policing ourselves than we do policing the streets. Yeah, that's a problem. They rather. Oh my god, the fact that Siobhan's taking notes is so good. Where people are afraid to respond to shit because they're what? gonna be held accountable for every little mistake that they do. And they're gonna get that, and they're gonna get 10 naps, and then they're gonna get fired. You're not you're not the first cop, or the second cop, or the third cop to say that to me. I know. And I'm apparently I wasn't the first uh, to say that to Captain Sachs either. Which frustrates me because no one does anything. I swear to God, I, when the first senior was promoted, I had a talk with her. I, I, I was like, I don't understand why it wasn't me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I really don't. No, what, uh, I had a talk with the senior, the Sonia. Okay. As I told her, we were talking about she's, the problems that she's going to face and whatnot when she got promoted. And I told her, I wish I had that opportunity. I wish I had the opportunity to fix everything. Because I. I, everything that I do, I do it for everybody. I don't do it for me. I don't really care. That's not the way that I'm going to learn. The way that I learn is to see people, you know, utilize my teachings, go forward, try to achieve, you know, better. And I'm so done with, <laughs> I'm so, I'm so done with this police department. You have no idea. Uh, where do you think the biggest problem is right now? The big, they're trying to fix a DAP system. Did, did you did you hear about the DAP? Yeah, co 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 coincidentally, a couple of days after I began to put pressure on them, they've started to revise things internally. That is true. The DAP system, that DAP change is meaningless. It values nothing. The effect of the DAPs is the same. The problem wasn't the system. The problem is the executioner. Right, and uh, that was kind of the main, the main argument that I made to them in that meeting, uh, before the council meeting. I was like, I, I, I laid it out for them. I was like, listen, you guys are the one who issue the points, and then you guys are also the ones who decide whether or not those points were issued fairly. Do you not see a problem with that? And they did not see a problem with that. <laughs> they could not fathom that there would possibly be a conflict of interest in deciding whether or not someone gets to continue working as a, a police officer. It was silly. I don't know. It was pretty silly. I bet it was. It was uh, probably just as silly as I, as I felt uh, earlier. 
So are, are you, are you, are you, you in feel? trouble? No, I probably have a target on my bank. I'm probably the next one on the chopping block. Yeah, uh, I know how that feels, Dana, so don't worry. You know, how would you feel if you go, that, like, your last effort of trying to talk to somebody about the issues, and when you think the conversation was going well, you get punished out of it? Yeah. The uh, more you work, the more you're punished. Yeah. So why why did it take ten days for you to be punished for that? You're asking me? I have no clue. Okay. I think I think it's probably due to the lawyers pressuring it because he tell he told me at first that it was three days ago, which was not true at all because the incident was ten days ago. Okay. So they probably start reviewing it through a microscope, and then thought, okay, you're getting, you're getting punished. I'm like, okay. Well. Okay. Uh, I would urge you not to give up yet. I know you're a good cop. Um, you're, one of, you're one of the only people I know that when Senior Bun's crime was on the rise, actually sat there for hours and made sure that nothing actually happened. Max, I sit, I sit every day. I don't go after the pings on my dispatch. I sit Every day at group six, a couple of minutes, I have constant people walking up to me. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for being here. People being thankful for what I do. And I go to I go to sanitation next, check on them, check on everybody, see how they're doing. They give me information about their attackers and shit. No one else does that, Max. No one else. Why? Because they don't get incentivized for it. Yeah. Because the seniors don't care. They want to do disciplinary actions. They want to train more cadets, put more people, but they're just going to end up the same. They're going to be cadets. They're going to become PPOs. They're going to be promoted to, you know, to the souls and they can patrol. But then they're going to see the whole shit show that it is and they're going to stop coming. They're not going to show up anymore. Oh, wait, I have to... Let me send Carmelo that $500 really fast. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what... So I'm, I'm going to tell you right now what I'm doing, okay? Uh, I have a group of experts that are going to go in. They're going to talk to every cop that they can. They're going to, to figure out the, the systems that are being employed. They're going to look at your SOPs, everything. Uh, and they're going to make suggestions on uh, what should change in order to foster a, a better work environment and a, uh, a work environment that promotes retention and... Uh, whatever it is you guys need to succeed. I can tell you flat out what the problem is from the get-go. The problem is we don't have enough of a structure for even a, a broad this amount of people. When you have two seniors and one captain per shift, those, and I can tell you this from experience, or from, you know, from from my rec my own my own case, right? I've got dapped for situations where they weren't even there to see it, and that's the problem, right? They're going off of secondhand word. They're going off of their own. How many how many dapps you have? Two. Okay. Tell me tell me about the They're situation. Off the, tell me about the situation you were you were dapped for, uh, with secondhand information. Both of them. Th this lawyer situation. One none of senior or captains were there. And in the first one, the same thing. Okay. I mean, ultimately, it, ultimately, they would have to operate off of secondhand information in order to do something, right? Yeah, but imagine how different a, a scenario would be if, on scenes or in on duty, even there would be a senior to view these things. Are you not going to tell me if there wasn't a senior present? Maybe a dap would have come out of it? Maybe a conversation would have been had? Maybe a teaching would have been had? Maybe a different punishment would have been had? A correction would have been made. But since they can't really correct what has been done, they're going off of, you know, a report. Of course there's going to come a dap out of it. They don't yeah. have enough of a structure to, you know, do corrections on the spot. You mean a chain of command, For right? them... Exactly. For them to... For them to actually, uh, for, for them to actually make sure 
that these punishments or these talks are felt, they have to issue a dab because otherwise it's just going to felt like, oh, it's a talk. They don't know what happened. They're just going to shrug it off. No, they have to issue that because that's how they feel like it, you know, because that's the reasoning. They weren't there. They're going off of secondhand information. So they have to do it. That's why I also said to the captain, they might not mean it in that way, right? They might not meet, be just the executioner of the daps. But they, they, they're kind of feeling, you know, that it kind of feels like it for everybody. The seniors aren't there for the situations. The people aren't there for, to witness them. So they go off of a report, they start questioning people around, and then punishments are issued. Uh, I got issued a DAP report by Can the I ask Johnson what was your, team. yeah, what was the first stop situation? Sorry, I just want to get this in my notes. What was the first stop? The first one was when Johnson went down and this is what got Johnson fired or what originated went up to it because I I think he did more to get fired because I think what he did with me wasn't even warranted a fire it was honestly correction was warranted right what happened was I uh my cadet actually that was with me noticed that Johnson was in the middle of the cul-de-sac alone and um from there we asked him if he was okay he didn't respond so we went over there and uh, Johnson was having a, a discussion with Mr. K. I went over and he, he, yeah, at first Mr. K was, uh, I thought it was going to be aggressive on me because at the time I had like my bun here. I looked like kind of like Captain Ruth. Yeah. So he was kind of having like a PTSD moment, but then he realized <laughs> I wasn't. Yeah. Uh, and then he, um, and then he started, obviously he started to, um, to talk, to vent to me. And, you know, I, I was fine. I was listening to all of it. And I, I also gave him, you know, a, bit of feedback from my perspective bit in there what ended up happening was mr k punched johnson out of frustration at the end of the conversation mm -hmm. okay and and as uh, i said that i, I tried to calm the situation down i tried to calm mr k but when i looked back johnson was getting heated and Ooh. johnson took his vest off Jack johnson took his glasses off and i think he even said uh, he was saying like oh i'm gonna lose my job or i'm gonna lose my job and not even my grandma punches me like that. And then he <laughs> he turned around and beat Mr. K to a pulp. Jesus, did he fight back? Yeah, but I mean, they had a brawl, right? They had a brawl and Johnson beat him to a pulp. Obviously I was there. I stopped Johnson. I ordered him to get in his vehicle and get out of there. I get got medical for Mr. K. And obviously, I got even the medical report from Mr. K. I got, I reported my situation to a senior, and I even reported to two seniors. Okay. And I'm only the messenger here, right? I conveyed what happened, and I try to, you know, correct the the, the behavior. Uh, I don't remember who came to me about the situation, but someone wanted to talk to me about it. Oh, it was Aldo and uh, Ruth. They both asked me about it, uh, and they asked me more about the scenario. And the the thing is, they don't they they weren't there, right? They didn't understand the mood. They didn't understand the vibe. They didn't understand why I made the decisions that I made, because I didn't ask for backup because there was a situation going on in the background that I didn't want to interrupt, and the the situation wasn't really you know wasn't really heated. It was Mr. Kane Johnson, so I called right. medical for Mr. K. I got Mr. K medical and whatnot. I got issued a DAP for not calling backup. That's what I got DAP for. Okay. So, <laughs> to, which to uh, me I, I'm is, gonna, is. I'm going to tell you right now uh, the, the unprofessional suggestion of trees in my office a couple days ago. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to learn that your captain hasn't been, in quotes, DAPed for it. <clears throat> the. Uh, the whole purpose of this uh, the system that your captains have worked out is to foster a a sense of responsibility uh, for everything that a cop does. Hold them to a higher standard, right? I gu I guarantee that these rules do not apply to them, and if they do, they're probably just doing it to make a show. They're like, oh look, I I dapped myself. Ooh, I dapped I dapped another captain. Uh, for this, blah blah blah, you know, but they're they're not they're not facing the same scrutiny that people like you, or Cleese Cornwood, or Denzel Shiesty are facing, and that's that is a system by design. Uh, they feel that they are beyond reproach. 
uh, as evidenced by the meeting that I had with them and their response to uh, possibly not being beyond reproach. The hostile work environment. I I'm surprised that you even are on duty today after everything that's happened to you. I, I, I had to, I, I, after that conversation, I just went to talk to them because I already, I already don't believe, I don't believe in this police department. And I, I told the Cornwood, I'm going to be a bystander now. I'm going to watch and see what happens with, uh, with what you're going to do with the police department because I'm done. Well, they, I'm done they... trying to speak. I'm done trying to uh, trying to improve the department. I'm done trying to make suggestions because I don't have the power to do any of that. So the thing about, thing about Cornwood is uh, apparently he had his review today. Yeah, I've uh, heard. And he, do, mm -hmm. and he doesn't know whether or not he's going to keep his job. Um, and Which there... to me is odd because Denzel got his one immediately. Well... So the, the thing that stuck out to me at that meeting is that uh, Captain Ruth was very intent on uh, insisting that he ought to be prosecuted for murder. Uh, which obviously is something that would make him lose his job. So that might be something to do with it. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, it's fucked. The whole situation's fucked. And they're forcing my hand. Because uh, if, if Clay's corner gets fired, then I am going to... I'm going to get directly involved. Right now, I am... I'm I'm delegating that responsibility to the, uh, the team that I'm going to be sending in to investigate everything. But if Clay, Clay's corner gets fired... Uh, Captain Ruth is going to be in handcuffs and she's going to be on a 24-hour hold for investigation uh, in regards to her treasonous comments that she made a couple nights ago. I wish you luck handling them. Handling them. What'd you say? I wish you luck handling them. <laughs> yeah, it, look. You know, the, charge is, the charge might not stick on her, right? But... Uh, we're just I'm building a case for the need for change yeah uh, it sounds fucked up are, are you going back on duty right now no I'm, I'm going back back home so uh -huh. gonna chill next time because I I can't be bothered you want me to drop you off at the apartments uh yeah that, 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 that could do please sure yeah, um, just, uh, don't give up quite yet. We've, we've only just gotten started. If it wasn't for Cornwood, I would have given it up ages ago. Yeah, he's a good man. He's a good man. I like him a lot. He's my sheriff. I can't help but call him sheriff, too, to be honest. Hi. Ah. Uh, that wasn't even Adam. It was just Adam and Jason. Close enough. <laughs> I, I even suggested it, Cornwood. I told him that if he ever got in a, a sheriff's office, I wanted to be his under sheriff and handle the whole structure oh, for okay. him. Okay, I'm actually gonna add you on to. I'm gonna add that note. Just so you know, there are other people interested in doing the same thing. So. Being the under sheriff yeah. or in the yep. sheriff's department. Under sheriff. Yeah, I know, but they don't have the qualities that I have. So yeah. I don't really care. I think I think you'd be good in an administrative position like that. Okay, Dana. Because the the the, the, key, the key thing here, the key thing here, I don't just care. I don't care about myself. I do things for the better of the city and the department. I think I had nothing but to show that with my actions. Hell, I even organized a fucking sewer expedition to check on the people down there. People that nobody cares about. Right. <clears throat> that doesn't that prove was anything. you? I don't... Yep. Yes, I organized oh, that thing. Oh, good work. Thank you for that. Uh, I know you lads were looking for one of my missing players. Max people, plus so one. I really do appreciate that. I roleplay that. with Dana a lot during campaign, early campaigning. And I, I plan to do a press release on it, but the doctors well, still haven't gotten back to me. Howdy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm done uh, talking to George Adams. What's going on? Uh, nothing. I'm, I just finished talking to Dana. 
Uh, oh, oh, holy shit. Okay. Dina, if you have any other comments or concerns or questions like or anything dumb, like that that comes up I'll, after I'll this conversation, you you're like, oh, I should have said that, oh. just go ahead and text uh, me and I will add it to the notes and we will get back to you. No, I think th this is probably the last time uh, I ever. Thank you. Wait, 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 or yeah, I'm, I made it into a book as well. I'm just going to watch now. I, I'm, I'm done trying to. Uh, okay, to thank you for stuff. this. Unless yeah. I get, get. It looks a lot I better get, on the other thing. If someone comes to me and says, Dana, fix it. I'm not gonna do anything. They're not gonna do that. Yeah, I know they're not. Yeah. That's why I'm just gonna wait. Yep. All right, Dana. Hello, Mrs. Thorbrand. Hi, Thank Swan. You, Hi. I, pre I appreciate it. Well, that was sad. That is sad. Seems like uh, not only are they not delegating, they're kind of shutting down ideas, as evidenced with our talk with Duncan, uh, and now her. Yeah, yep. Um, I mean, I, uh, so let me go back. Um, I know about the situation where her second DAP occurred, and I know about the lawyers going by uh, Xavier, right? It was Xavier. Was uh, it? was one of the lawyers involved. Um, and the other one was, fuck, Solomon, okay? And I guess uh, she was. I hear what she's saying where she's like Solomon wasn't whatever was aggro whatever it is but the correct way to deal with that situation is to not try to deny somebody their right to to you know whatever counsel that they see if they want or see fit if they're available and there you can't tell them to like leave what right. she should have just done is if like if he was being bitchy which it sounds like he might have been is because uh, she said he was trying to get under her skin I don't think Solomon's like that he's just kind of annoying <laughs> and if she was, I'm going to be honest, he's just kind of annoying. If she wasn't having a good day, yeah. then it probably would have seemed that way because he's just annoying. Um, the correct way to deal with that situation would have been just to deal with it as it was at hand. And no matter how annoying, write everything down that the lawyer was doing and go make a bar complaint. What even comes from these bar complaints? Get them sanctioned. Well, last time I had to pay $5,000 for a bar complaint. Oh, Jesus. I was sanctioned once at the beginning of my law career. When I was actually just a paralegal, uh, where I essentially had a three-day suspension. So, so what you're saying is that uh, that discipline point was probably deserved. What I'm saying, I don't know. I don't think a disciplinary point was deserved because she still doesn't know that what the correct answer was. Oh my How god! How can you you're discipline right. somebody without telling them what the corrective course of action was? And this is oh. exactly what Duncan was telling us: is that they discipline them, but don't tell them what they should have done instead. So nobody learns to do better. Yeah, make it make a note of that. That's an excellent point. I didn't even uh -huh. draw that. Uh... I was. I. This is why I'm taking the notes. Yeah, this is why you're my fucking chief of staff, man. Yeah. So, um, y you can't tell somebody what they did wrong without telling them what they were supposed to do better. What the fuck? There is a way to deal with that situation, and we have whole ass systems in place for all of that. Like, the lawyers are the DOJ's fucking responsibility. Let a judge deal with it. Yep. But yeah, so I've seen bar complaints range anywhere from fines to suspensions, whatever. There, There is disciplinary action that can be taken against a lawyer by the Department of Justice, right? And typically, they will hit us where it hurts us most. Uh, like, when I got the $5,000 sanction, um really early on in the city, and I'm like, oh, time off? Suspension? No, Siobhan. Keep working. Oh, okay. You want to talk to more Wait. cops? Yeah, let's do it. I want to keep talking to them. Okay. How's your, uh, Especially after uh, last night. How's your composition hand? It's great. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's nice and stretched. Okay. I think I'm, I think I'm uh, getting pulled we probably, over. We probably have, like, six business proposals to review at some point. <laughs> I think a bunch of them are no's, but I just want to check. Hi. Hi. Hi, Miss Bell. Oh God, it's the mayor. Hi, there, Miss Mayor. Hi, yeah. Bell. Uh, actually, I was just talking. Hi, I was just talking with my wife here. Uh, she's my new chief of staff. If you're not aware, uh, that we are interested in speaking to more cops about uh, the new act that just passed, in uh, in order to get a feel for the the lay of the land, so to speak. <clears throat> So, uh, are you free? Copy. Are you, like, is he being combative? Uh. 
This is on the radio. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, we have somebody with a knife actively probably threatening cops. Um, Ooh, yeah. Um, look, I believe I clocked you going 114, Mayor. Uh, please slow down. Um, I will. If you wish to speak, um, are you in the yellow pages? I will be. Just call me Call me when you're oh, free, shit, okay? Oh, shit, I'm not now. Okay, I think I... Siobhan, I think I have your number. Oh, my um, number. Yeah, just call me when you're free. Yeah, I'm gonna go help officers. Mayor, please slow down. I will. This seems such a great way to capture cops to talk to us. Honestly. That's true, actually. <laughs> For real. I'm gonna go see where she's going. All right. You know what I'm gonna do with all of these notes? I'm gonna I'm gonna coalesce them, okay? Um, yeah. cause it seems like we're uh, I wanted to ask like certain basic questions on each of them, which we're sort of doing, which is like, do you have any DAPs? Tell us the situation of all of your DAPs, like what happened, right? Right. Essentially, we're doing the fact finding mission that the captain should have done. Right. To uh, I guess we're gonna figure out like how well our DAPs actually like. How well does the system work, especially when they're not being issued actual, like, what the corrective action was, right? But I'm going to put it all into, like, uh, some sort of, like, Google response thingy or whatever like that, um, so that we have, like, a biograph of, like, frequency of answers. You know, it, it, the ultimate goal for that should be? What? We should We should paint the DAP system as a, uh, a method for those three captains to retaliate against people they just don't like. That, that's what it seems like to me, to be honest, because they're not actually telling them what to do better. They're just saying, fuck you, fuck that, fuck what you're doing, but um, good luck figuring it out again because I didn't tell you what you should do, so you're going to make the same mistake. Can't wait to tell you fuck you again in the future. Yeah. Yep. Looks like we're going to Sandy. Oh, great. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> Bingle Bing Dan's not real. He can't hurt you. He is real. He hit me right here on the highway. He hit me here. I can tell you all the places he ran into the car. It was so scary. Actually, I don't know where she went. I can't hear the sirens. You say it. I'm VCB. Wait, she said a cop was being held at knife point? Yeah. And Sandy. Oh no. Oh god, oh god, this is like this is like right where. I'm not panicking. Don't panic. Hey, I have a repair kit. So do I. Oh wow. You learned how to fix cars? Yeah, I'm a man. You know, this is standard man stuff. You know, I This is really I'll, I'll yeah, go, I go really to go to wikipedia.org slash repairing cars and Go down the rabbit hole. So you learned from Wikipedia? Do you think you're Stephen Bunnell? Who? Oh, that was a niche reference. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> the second? <laughs> what? The second? <laughs> Stephen Bunnell the second? Is, is, it, is it actually the second? I don't know if I... Destiny? Yeah, I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right, yeah, I think you would. It is the second, right? It... <laughs> well, you're doing great. I mean, the car hasn't exploded yet, so you clearly know what you're doing underneath that hood. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm good with my hands. I do know that you're good with your hands. Yup. Cornwood's calling. Hey, stop smoking. Cornwood. Howdy. How doth thy do? Uh, what we talked about earlier. Yeah, what about? Do you remember, uh, the answer is that I was told by one person that no, they don't see it on, under the announcements no more. Who did you, uh, who did you talk to? Uh, does it matter? Yeah, I, I need to know if it's hidden to certain ranks. Hmm. You want me to ask a senior officer then? Yeah. It was not a senior officer. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I was asking you the last time we talked about it. Oh, okay. I thought I thought you were asking in terms of making it unaware to. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll find a senior officer that I think will, will have my back on this. Sure. 
Well, everything I've heard from, from officers that aren't a high enough rank is that the announcement was removed or deleted. So I'm just wondering if it was hidden. Uh, it was likely hidden, not deleted, if I had to guess. But oh, yeah, either way, said that to me. Uh, I mean, it was it was made aware to officers, and then it was not. It was taken away. I wonder why. Yeah, I was told all the shift two officers were invited to my review, by the way. But my review was four hours before shift two starts, so we didn't have any shift two officers show up. So they uh, they gerrymandered you. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hey, Bev, get, get a load of this. What? Cornwood says that uh, shift two officers were all invited to his review, but the review started four hours before shift two started. What the fuck? That's gerrymandering, right? I mean, that, uh, that was a very clever joke. Like like, like a time gerrymander? <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> sure, it's like a time gerrymander for sure. Absolutely. You time, they, t they time gerrymandered him. Yeah, that's fucked, Cornwood. Yeah. That's a new you one. That's a new form officers, of gerrymandering. That's, that's, that's quite insipid for them uh, to have been able to achieve. Oh, it was the seniors that I was talking about. That, that, that I weren't about. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now. Regardless. Cornwood, Cornwood, hold this to your breast. Don't tell anyone. I, you got it. Uh, whether or not you get fired, fired depends whether or not I'm going to march into MRPD and arrest uh, Captain Ruth for treason. Okay. Okay. Do you need lawyers? Uh, I already got one. Who do you got? Uh, Xavier. Okay. Yeah, I'm working with Xavier. Damien knows about it. Uh, and uh, I haven't talked to Oliver Hall about it yet. Yeah, let's skip Oliver Hall. <laughs> okay. I told Oliver Hall about it, how, how I think the PD is, is working against me and how, how they're trying to misconstrue everything I'm saying. And I, and I paid him money for his, his legal advice. You, uh... You are most certainly being conspired against. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah. We'll see what happens. Yep. Uh, don't worry. Okay. Hey, well, I'm, well, I mean, look, uh, hey, I normally night. go to the forum on, on, on Monday nights. I normally have to go to the forum. I, I found somebody to, to stand in for me. Okay, it's very rare that I get to do this, but I know I can't not be here right now because I'm scared if I'm going for two hours, then I'm gone for good. So, uh, wait, 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 what, what, what's the farm? No, the farm. The farm. I gotta leave town. The farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I gotta go take care of the farm. They got cattle and all shit. Uh, so I got someone to, 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 you know, feed the cattle and whatnot. So, uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm around. Okay. So, if, if, I'm available 100%. If you need me, you give me a call, text me, whatever. I'm there 1,000%. So. Look. The people love you, Cornwood. Um, just uh, let me overstep boundaries so far as this whole situation is concerned. I just don't want you to do something where they can point to it and be like, hey, this guy's actually a piece of shit. Okay? Okay. Okay. Well, I will stand back and stand by then. Sounds good. <clears throat> okay. Just let me know. All right, love you. All right, bye. bye. How come he never says I love you back? Why is Max taking his neck out yeah, for Cornwood? He might be one of those people who's weird about the use of that word, where they're like, oh, this like means something very specific to me. Um. As opposed to there being like way more words for love in other languages. Just having a high-ranked police officer under his thumb. Also, he, uh, it... Cornwood's a victim of the thing that Max His is trying to stop. The concept of it is like Eros, um, not like a golfy or platonic, you know? Yeah, like uh, Jaeger. Yeah. It's just a word. <laughs> you know how you know how you uh, you know how you show someone whether or not you love them. How? With action. I mean, yeah, actions do speak louder than words. Like, you can talk the talk, but if you don't walk the walk, then it doesn't really matter. The talk is cheap. What do you think of my uh, douchebag fit today? <laughs> I feel like I want to change my top to be pink so we're more matchy. Yeah, sure. Where's your, uh, where's your bike at? Oh, yeah, we never went and found it. Uh, what does the uh, app say? Beep, beep, 
That's exactly where I left it. Crashed. Oh. And Elgin somewhere. Elgin? Elgin? Whatever you pronounce it. Uh, I think it's Elgin? I think it's Elgin. Elgin sounds so weak and European. Wait, no, it sounds like, um, it, I think it sounds like you're adding, um, what is it? Like, Spinglish. Elgin. Yeah. That's why it sucks. That's why Elgin. Elgin, Elgin, Elgin sounds like an American appropriation of the word. Therefore, it's more powerful by default. <laughs> uh, well, as a, a native-born American, I'll have to cede to you on this matter. Yeah, I mispronounce stuff all the time, like assuage. Hiatus. Hiatus. <laughs> You're making, yeah, yeah, laugh at me again. Laugh at me again. Oh, say it again? Hiatus? Hiatus. Pon son Hiatus. Pon zombie. <laughs> Pon zombie. <laughs> did you ever sign back in? Yeah, I did. Mm -mm. So I was able to take um little pictures for people. Just, yeah, my notes. How do you pronounce Las Vegas? Wait, Las Vegas? Vegas. Vegas? Vegas. Saying Vegas? Vegas. Why are you saying it like that? That's fucked up. It's not fucked up. That's how a real man says Vegas. Hey, no, you just pronounced Vegas properly afterwards. Yeah, I was just doing it for your tiny European brain, babe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't hit me. <laughs> you know, you know when, you, when, you, when you say my tiny European brain, you know what immediately comes to mind? Hmm. Uh, Jean Lejoie. I don't know who the fuck that is. You know, yeah, yeah, it's a real European sound. Is that what you want to be compared to? You want to be compared to a guy with a French name? No. That sounds terrible. That's a fate worse than death. Would me you your... have voted no on the Iraq war? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would. I was, I was, uh... I was doing my job at that time. <clears throat> Good job. You know, fucking... Astrophysics? Yeah, I was doing astrophysics, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you I, was, uh, I was 16 in Ireland and just freshly able to drink legally there, and so I was just drunk that entire year. I don't really remember much. How long ago was that? 20 years. Oh god, don't say it. I forgot I forgot why I came out here, so we're gonna go back inside. Um yeah, so you were twenty years old, huh? Wait, wait and when 9-11 happened? No, I was sixteen. Damn. Wait, drunk at sixteen. Well, I guess they do it different in uh Yeah, our drinking age is sixteen in Ireland, but everybody really starts drinking at home at like five. Jesus. <laughs> well it's the criminalized up to five at home. I'm gonna use the pee All right. After that, we're gonna meet with more cops. Okay, do you want me to try to meet? Are there any particular ones you want me to ring up to try to meet with, or just anyone that's available? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to set up some stuff then. Same in most Nordics. Yeah, it's like an American thing not to give booze to your kids. I mean, me personally, I don't give booze to my kid. <laughs> Are you arresting Ruth today? Ah, oh, God, I, I feel like I save it as a, a trump card if they try to fire Cornwood. Thing is, is uh, this whole review happened, and it's probably gonna happen before I can get on. So, Cornwood's one hundred percent fired. Yeah, the way that the way that they spoke about him at that meeting before the council meeting was pretty damning. Um. Trying to prosecute him, not fire. Well, if that's the right way they go, then we can just pardon him. So, and I think I think uh, that would probably be one of the easiest pardons I can swing. Failing that, he could just get an expungement and they get rehired again.
Uh, I'm gonna piss real quick.
Все школа хардбосса, пацаны. Спортивочки Найк. Это школа колбасы. Это школа колбасы. Oh yeah. How you doing? Great, how are you? <clears throat> doing good, doing good. Wasn't what it looks like in there. Yeah, what's going on? I, I love questions, man. Uh, so I want to ask you a few questions. So, I remember, yeah. uh, do you know someone part of the mail office, right? I'm the new chief of staff. You're the new chief of staff. Yeah, when I have that in the other pages. But yeah, sure, go ahead. When it comes to business proposals, I, I spent mine with you know, would it be better to like this than it was you? Forward it to me. Yeah, re recent it to you, please. I, 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 I don't know if Matt's ever got it. Oh, did you? Was it that yeah. one? Yeah, but Way back it when? One. You might have sent it to one of my other phones and not the phone oh, I'm currently yeah. using. Yeah, could you send it to my current number that is posted in the yellow pages? Like I said, I'm in the yellow pages. Oh, there is no, no offense I've done for that yet. I, I think that we probably will not work on legislation for that. Yet. Honestly, probably till the end of this mayoral term, because in the past, no. right in the past with alcohol licenses, there's always like the question of making sure that there is an actual legitimate establishment and not like some sort of mobile alcohol sales, right? Um, uh, right, so making sure that there's an actual like physical uh, point of sale, right? Lo God. Location. Um, and some other parameters and those things are probably that's probably not in the immediate future but in the uh not in the immediate but in the near to intermediate future what if like i enter yeah that would be tough to see there's no point even question about that sorry was it there's no point no i mean what do you mean we're gonna ask question like say there's an event going on somewhere could i theoretically as a liquid library go to that event and serve alcohol there right like catering yeah like catering um assuming you that's actually a really good question let me think about this for a second say like there's another business that has a bar but they don't want to get an alcohol license themselves and the liquor might be work out of there on their behalf um i love all of these things like right i would love the idea that the only people who are able to like serve alcohol are those who actually have like the alcohol license right um because you're also gonna want to do things that will make you not lose your alcohol license right like um serving people beyond their limit uh etc etc somebody asked me the question the other day because i think they were i'm back they were 20 and they were asking sorry my wife made dinner i'm sorry sorry to prepare a plate you know what that's probably better for you to drive over here city hall yep, yep. what is it got we got uh okay, steam broccoli too soon, please. oven roasted cauliflower sorry. roast chicken potatoes um this is a really good question that is worth pondering. Yeah, it's more like specific stuff. Because there are events that we get hired out for, like, you know, they have a music event down for a final bowl and serve alcohol there. Yeah. Basically, that would mean that, you know, people would have to go to those alcohol businesses rather than just do it themselves. Yeah. Um, Bam is on his way to come meet with us. He's coming here. Oh, jeez. So, so fellow Maximilian. Well, hey, I got, I found an officer. The rest of them are all busy. This one was not. Yeah, but he, um, he's like a he's like a cave person that managed to find his way to civilization. Yeah, I, well, I feel like we, we should still hear him out. He might be on the outliers on the graph, and therefore it doesn't really count as much. We should still probably hear him out. 
you know, sometimes uh, out of the mouths of babes, you know, sometimes. Um, You're so fucking wise. <laughs> no. So, uh, Mr. Angel here was telling me about, well, he was asking about the Liquid Library because he had submitted his business proposal to Juno, and I don't think that ever found its way to you. I'm not sure if it did or not. I told him to send it over my way. Well, hey, bam. Um, but then he was asking questions about alcohol licenses. We have not uh, legislated anything around that yet. We were discussing hmm. the Old Republic. Now you're caught up. Um, um, no, <laughs> no, 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 more no, later. No one will own the Liquid Library. Just so you know. Yeah, yeah, we, we know that. We know that. Okay. I, I talked to you about this like a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. Just uh, working a business out of the Liquid Library is fine, though, right? Called the Liquid Library. Absolutely. Perfect. That's cool. all I need to know. Perfect. Let's go, Bam. Well, Siobhan, where do you hey, uh, want to talk on. to me? Yeah, yeah. The mayor and I both really, really like to speak. Oh, uh, well, that's cool. Bam, 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 bam. How is your shift, Bam? Oh, just uh, arresting criminals, you know, taking them to jail. It's been good. Um, rate your experience today out of ten. I would say like a seven. Okay, Probably seven. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> this guy plays the perfect dumbass cop. <laughs> Like, I didn't start off well. I got this hot dog, and it was, like, kind of like a... But... You what, did you get from, like, the gas station or something? Yeah, it was a gas station dog. You're gonna get fucking... Like a little ro ro rollers you're, thing. You're gonna get fucking botulism from that shit, man. Yeah, I'll probably just, like, you know, diarrhea for a day or two. Uh, Are you gonna diarrhea today? Wait, I, I mean, my body's processing. She's getting out. Uh, there's a little snack machine out there if you're hungry. Oh, no, I ate that burgie that you gave me. It kind of stabilized my stomach, actually, because I was like, it was like bubbling. But then I ate that burger you gave me and it kind of like uh, yin and yanged it. So probably like 3 a.m. I'll probably just like destroy <laughs> the bathroom, you know. <laughs> but it's cool. I want just snacks. Oh, I like your boots, Javon. They're pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, they're Chanel. Oh. Like real Chanel, like from the store? Or did you get him like uh, some guy selling them on the street or something? No, 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 actual Chanel. Hearing this guy's voice is making oh, my bowels cool. shake with disgust. Yeah, these are from the uh, 2006 spring collection. Oh, uh, I was like a baby in 2006. And... Okay, well, thanks yeah. for making me feel ancient. Wait, how old are you, Ben? Uh, that's okay. 21. 21. Yeah, I'm 21. 21. Should we really want to hear from people this young? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry that you're, you know, you're older, Siobhan. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just, you know, I'm youthful. Oh, fuck it. Let's just use my office, actually. This room's too big. A lot of mahogany in here. Mm. Twenty-one. Well, how old are you, Siobhan? You're like 36, right? That's not old. I mean, it's old, but... But that's you. Like... Bless you so much, <laughs> No, you told me before, but I forgot. Because, like, you were like, oh, five years ago. I turned 39 in three oh, months. Oh, 39? That's cool. It's like Brad Pitt's 39, right? Um, I'm just going to start lying to people. I'm just going to start telling them I'm 29 forever. It, cool. it, it would work. <clears throat> That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. See, I'd sit down, but then I wouldn't be looking at you, so I don't know. Yeah, you can just stand if, if that's what you want. Okay. So what's up? So, uh, as you may or may not know, uh, recently passed into law was the ability for the mayor's office to provide oversight um, for the LSPD and other police departments in Los Santos. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then we, we just had a reminder... Uh, today, it said, at the time of this announcement, the proposed legislation police continuity plan has yet to be enacted until it is in legislation. There are no changes. High command. I just, so I just signed that, actually. So no, not yet, but soon, right? Wait, what? When? What? Uh, I got this uh, announcement uh, Monday, 26 Feb, 2322 GMT by Captain Wyatt Turner. Can you take a picture of that and text it to me? Uh... I guess. I mean, it's for cops only, but uh, I just, it's just, that's 
It's what I said. It's it's literally what I said. Currently, at the time of this announcement, the proposed legislation, police continued continuity, continue, 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 continuity, 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 continuity plan has yet to be enacted. Until it is in legislation, there are no changes on how the LSPD operates. Dash high command. <laughs> and that was Captain Turner who posted that. You said he posted it. Yeah. These dumb, well, I don't know these, if I should. these dumb motherfuckers are doing what the fucking Nazis did when Berlin was about to get fucking raided. They're shredding the papers right now, dog. Oh, about all that, jeez. But anyways, um, I don't know if I can give police documents to non-cops because yeah, I, I probably I'm, I'm yeah, dapless and I don't want to get dapped. Um, dapless. so you are dapless right now. Dapless. That's one of the questions. Oh, I'm wicked good cop, you know. Well, look, no one's gonna find out that you gave it to me. <laughs> no, you're pretty cool, Mr. Mayor, but I don't want to just like start giving you like police stuff. I mean, okay. You know. uh, uh, let me let me be clear. Uh, your high command yes, is mistaken. It is. Oh, they, it, su- oh, they they're, suck. They're yeah. wrong. <laughs> okay, so it is a thing. Yeah, and they're they're uh, they're saying it's not a thing because they're grasping at straws in an attempt to once again hold themselves unaccountable. Oh, uh, see, like I'm. The thing is, like. I'm, you know, I'm a 21 year old street cop. I don't. Th- those guys, they're old. They do the. I go out there and I lock people up. I don't know the politics. Like I, I heard you guys are beefing. That's all I know. I don't know. I ba- barely didn't know that you guys were pissed at each other. I thought you guys were cool. So it's like, you know, I go out there. Some guy, you know, some lady I help across the street. This is above my head. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't know. I'm not going to be in charge. I'm like the young guy who's like, hey, hey, go ahead. And I'm like, yeah. All right, do me a favor. Okay, we'll compromise. Yeah. Okay. Um, my mouth is full. <laughs> you shouldn't. Were you chewing tobacco? Your face is gonna fall off, dude. Come on. No, hey, Mr. Mayor. I got, a little, I got a little pocket jerky. I'm chewing on. Um, take a picture of it as it is in its entirety. Uh huh. And hold on to it until um. You can oh, in case it. it gets edited. Yeah. Uh, because then I'll yell at him. Yeah. And uh, you know, I just want. I'll request that picture from you when it's possible. Uh, when you are comfortable giving it to me. How about that? Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna like f over my cap, you know. Like, I don't know. You guys argue about it. I'm just like this guy, you know. Um, I just have some questions about how your tour of duty has gone. How long have you been a uh, cop on the beat here in LSPD or Los Santos? I mean, yeah, um, I was part of the skeleton crew day one. They were like, they hired me from community college. <laughs> so for since they opened up uh, the PD, you know. How how effective do you think the skeleton crew was? Um, I mean it was okay. We were short for a while. Our, our uh, you know, we didn't have no money, but like, you know, we, we built it up. I think it was okay. It wasn't like, you know, we weren't like the Yankees, but we were like Tampa Bay. Okay. You know. Sports reference, nice. <laughs> yeah, sports. <laughs> Fucking sports, man. <laughs> um, so you're uh you're a high school graduate. Yeah. Um. Good. I mean, already overqualified for the job. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, man. I'm not a scientist. You know, I'm not going to cure cancer or anything. Yeah. But, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'd like a C average. So you haven't been disciplined before. Dapless. Um. And you were made an officer. You skipped the PPO phase. Yeah. Yeah. I never. Uh. They were just like, you're good. Have you seen anything uh, in regards to these PPOs that might be uh, problematic? Uh, by that I mean, do you feel like they're being un- uh, treated unfairly by your superiors at times? Um, not really. Sometimes, like some some superiors are different. You just it's like any job. You just gotta know your. Some bosses are hard ass. Some bosses they just talk to talk. Some bosses are good. Like they just promoted Bones, which was the best decision ever. He should be in really? charge. Yeah, he's senior now. It's my boss. Um. So, I mean, have you read the uh, police continuity plan? Yeah, yeah, I read it. Uh, who do you think would be a good commissioner for the LSPD? Bones. Okay. Uh, I, I like I, his I, leadership. Yeah, I I mean, I like the cut of his jib, too. I've heard from a couple of cops now, because I've talked to a lot of them, that he probably would not take the position because he would much rather be a patrol cop. Do you think that's the case? Oh, I think he would. <clears throat> I mean, we're not like besties, but like his leadership style is be- the best that I've like. He he just doesn't tell you to do stuff like he he does it with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's that one meme where it's like 
the one boss is sitting at his desk and people are pulling the desk and then the one boss is pulling the desk with the people. You know that meme? Like that that's a pretty cool meme. Like that's bones. Do you uh so you you've insinuated that his leadership style is different from your captain's. Uh, do you have any concerns with uh the method by which your captains have been leading? Not really. I only work uh, I work very specifically with when Slacks is around. Uh Turner's pretty cool. Ruth, I, I don't I don't uh I've never really worked with her, but she's cool. I don't have an issue with it. Some people like cry and complain, like, oh people are yelling at me. Oh, but you know, I don't care. Have you ever been yelled at? Yeah. By who? Uh Ruby. She's always yelling at me. <laughs> she's always chewing me out, but it's all right. Who, who well, what's her rank? She's a senior. Okay. Uh, do you have aspirations of becoming a senior yourself? Uh, maybe in a couple of years. I'm only 21. Yeah. So, you know, I want to get the, I want to get out there and start locking people up. It was very obvious to people who wanted rank. They started acting a certain type of way immediately. Like who? That's not me. Like who? Well, the only bosses that I had, you know, was Ruby and McNutts. And they were McNulty. Sorry. That's what I call them. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they were like, they were like start acting at bosses like day one. And I was like, oh, I guess these guys want to be bosses. And that was like the running joke. And I was, I kept calling like McNutts, like, oh, you're my boss. He's like, I'm just, I'm just like you, man. And then he got the boss. And now he's, I, I can't say that yeah. anymore. Yeah. Mouthful again. Hang on. Sorry, I haven't had That's anything to good. <laughs> Beef jerky, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. You, you, you do that. I'm just going to ask. Okay. So, um, mm-hmm. about the skeleton crew, you said they were effective ish. Uh, do you think that the training during that time was sufficient? For, like, uh, everybody to actually get the training that they needed. Yeah, well, some people, like, they don't learn as quick as others, you know? Like, there's some people who are dumb yeah. as shit. Some people need more time than others. Yeah, some, some people, people are, are more sensitive, and they're, like, they cry about, like, little stuff. And, but, uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, it's a job. They're teaching us how to do it and stuff. And uh, not everyone's going to be. You can't make everyone happy, but, you know. I think it was good. Just give me, uh, give me some stuff to do, and I'll go do it. <laughs> um how does ruby chew you out oh she's like <clears throat> i can't do her accent but she's like bam and i'm like yeah what's up boss and she's like why are you parking there and i was like because it's the tactically best way to park well why are your lights not on I'm like i don't know i must turn them off and then she makes me turn my lights on or like repark my car and then she just looks at me like she's like my big sister and she's like disappointed in me and stuff um, how does that make you feel when she acts disappointed in you? Do you feel like you do not want to make her disappointed again? Do you try to do better? Yeah, yeah, I don't want her to look at me like that. It's just like, god damn it. Because <laughs> she's like old like you, you know? Uh, do you want to rephrase? I'm going to give you one opportunity to rephrase that. No, that's really like, I just don't want to let him down, you know? I'm like the young buck on the force and the, se- the senior officers and the people who've been around like five years ago and stuff. I just want them, uh, you want to make them, uh, I want to make them proud. Yeah, you know, I'm the younger generation. I'm the Zoomers yeah. and they're the boomers, you know. Millennials aren't boomers by default, but okay. I'm mean, right. kind of old. But... Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Bam. Yeah. By the time you're 30, you're going to have dissociative dis- identity disorder from using your phone so much. So I hope you really enjoy that. You're welcome. Oh, I use a Google Pixel, so no one really wants me to text them. I did on purpose because they're like, oh, it's not blue. So I am on it a lot, you know. I don't want to use TikTok because the Chinese government's taking my information. That's what Facebook said. Yep. So it's oh, like God. I'm not on it a lot. But Google Pixel is like a good phone, but it's like you know, all the girls are like, oh, my God. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not got three cameras so like i do it on purpose so i'm not on the phone a lot so all right um okay so i'm gonna go back okay you when we're asking about different people's learning styles you said a lot of people have different learning styles right you said everyone learns the same right but you still thought that the skeleton training was effective to capture all those learning styles um Oh, sorry. How many Go officers ahead. have you lost? Um, well, listen. Uh, I don't know if Cornwood super fired, but Denzel got super fired. And they should have done that on February. Like, I don't know. I think they should have <laughs> fired Denzel. But they should have. But uh, listen, I'm just an idiot. Like, I don't. 
I'm just a guy, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm out there shoveling shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't make those decisions, but maybe, maybe they, maybe they shouldn't have fired Denzel, especially in February. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, thank you, ma'am. Uh, no, okay. uh, listen, I want you to feel comfortable being open and transparent with us. This is a safe place. We're not going to go and be like, Hey, Captain So and So, guess what So and So said about you? You know what I mean? This is not. Yeah. Uh, we we want to help protect you and your ability to do your job because what the mayor and I care about at the end of the day is a functioning, healthy police department. Yeah, yeah. I I just found out that you guys hate the captains, I guess, but that's cool. T the mayor said they. He just said they sucked. I won't tell him that the mayor said that though. But... I told him to their face. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah. Beb, tell uh, tell Bam here why I don't like them. <laughs> Um, Captain Ruth stood in, in this office, not too far from where you're standing now, Bam. Oh, um, right here. uh, suggested treason, and neither captain fucking batted an eye. Do you think she got a dap for that? No. Did either of them say anything about, hey, you shouldn't do that? That's unprofessional, bare minimum. No. 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 What kind no. of treason? They like just light? took it and stride. Like, uh, light like taking over the like... city council, like, oh, like a like... coup d'etat. She, fucking... just, she essentially she she suggested a coup d'état. Oh, like uh, French stuff. Is that oh when they God. like the coup de, <laughs> coup d'état? No, that's the coup de gras. That's when they like they kill, kill you. Yeah, they kill you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, what's the difference? Just like overthrow the government. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What would she be like? The PD, the the mayor captain. Is that what she said? Uh, she'd be the fucking El Jefe, probably. Who knows? Oh, I didn't know she was spam. Oh, uh, so like the mayor captain? Uh, Wait, uh, yeah, kind of. I get look at the, what would have yeah. happened after that is irrelevant. It's the fact that she suggested it. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. <clears throat> Especially if she's like, it just wasn't appropriate. It was not captain. appropriate in any shape or form in any universe. What What if you did that in front of your captains? Uh, they probably like, uh, like Ruby would look at me real disappointed, and then like. No, you're Probably in like, front of your captains. Oh, well, she's usually there. Slacks is, he can't say no. Like, Slacks always has a line of people talking to him, so she'd probably be there. Yeah. She'd be looking at me disappointed, and Slacks should be like, hey, bam, like, that was really stupid. And I'd probably get, like, I don't know, like, nine daps. Nine daps, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, she got zero from Slacks in that meeting. <laughs> well, they're captains. Like, they, they, I don't think they're going to dap each other. I think Jesus is the only one who daps them, like. If he exists, yeah. Uh, well, think of that me. Shouldn't be that way. Think of me as Jesus in this scenario. <laughs> oh, so you can dap him? Well, then dap so him. Crazy. I don't know. I'll dap him. Uh, I, 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 I'm not a big fan of the dap system. Um, yeah, it's uh, a dumb name, definitely. My, uh, my form of retribution would come through other means. <laughs> oh, like uh, you're gonna rename it like demerits or something? No, it, I, I mean, but you are, a, you are a specimen. Bam. <laughs> yeah, I work out a lot. Thanks for noticing. You are a specimen, man. <laughs> yeah, I hit up uh, the Y. Lap Sick. swims and stuff. The Y? Yeah, no, what's wrong with the yeah, Y? Yeah, the YMCA. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with the Y. You got that big pool, and then like you can hit the weights and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just that was um that was slightly older was than I expected. I think it's the underscore half from them. You know, I thought that he was, you know... The kind who uh, might brag about how many uh, Robux he has in his account. Huh? Well, no, the mayor said that I'm a specimen, so he was obviously talking about my muscles, and I was just like, yeah, work out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I ain't going to get big arms fucking playing Roblox, which, like, people my age don't even play anymore. But Okay, I got, I got, I got a couple more questions, man. I stopped playing games after Club Penguin. But, yeah, so... <laughs> um... <laughs> Do you feel that you are able to do your job to the utmost of your capabilities currently? Uh, for the most part, yes, sir. Um, just as long as, like, um, I, I hate to say this. Mm -hmm. I, sometimes I wish that, like, seniors don't show up to my scenes because then they're, like, it's almost like a, like they want to prove to each other who's in charge or, like, they're power, prove to us. There's a, there's a power vacuum right now. They're They're trying to show off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's standing like, and doing some dick measuring contests. Yeah, yeah. Some of them don't even have wieners, and they're like, which, <laughs> "I shouldn't say that." But, but anyway, I, listen, I, look, this is a safe place, man. You know. But people are like, they're like, 
they, they're talking to talk so their voice is heard, you know, and it's pretty obvious. Mm. I just like to do my thing. But, you know, um, other than that, no, I, listen, nothing's perfect. You can't have perfect harmony. I think we're doing okay. It's so just what's office the, politics. What's the what's the nature of let, let's say you're a first responder, you're the first responder. Yeah. Um and one of your superiors shows up. Who is the person who is like in charge of that uh, that scene, I guess? Usually the superior uh they like to take over and like even I could be doing everything perfect and then they ask a bunch of questions that I've already done and stuff like that, but so that's just like is that that's protocol people. that if a higher rank person shows up they they are the ones who take over the scene. Normal, yeah, they're like uh, incident that's commander wrong. or whatever. But like I'm a character. Know, like, we don't know that though. Normally they trust me to do it, but sometimes they don't. It's like okay, whatever. Fuck All me. right, go ahead and fuck me. Okay, but listen, I'm not like bitching. Like like you know when I worked other jobs, you know it's this is always nothing's perfect. Like you know this isn't like Fortune 500 company. We're a bunch of dumbasses who became cops. Like true. You know, we're not curing cancer or anything. That's right. <clears throat> I mean, uh, my morale is like it's decent. It, it, so, like, out of one hundred, what's your morale at? Uh, I don't know, like a, uh, I don't know, like a seventy-one. <laughs> uh, you know, so barely passing with yeah. C minus. No, seventy-one. If you play baseball, That's you have a, a seven hundred average. You're the best player ever. Yeah, and like, if you're applying to school, you're not going to get in anyway. Siobhan, I went to community college. And listen, if you came and said my morale is at 100, I would say you're a freaking lion. Everyone's depressed nowadays. Uh, and like, I'm not even depressed. I'm just like, you know, doing okay. Do you feel like the uh, the weight of your job is weighing down on you? No. Do you, I'm uh, only 21, uh, Mr. Mary. You know uh, okay, that's good. You're young and spry. Um, yeah, I'll just quit and drive a truck or something. Do you, do you think that it's weighing down on your coworkers? Yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, are, are there any people in particular that you think might benefit from a talk with me? Um, I mean, have you talked to Duncan? Oh, talk. he, he wants yeah. to talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he likes sure to have. talk. Yes, we it's just have. Like, <laughs> some people don't like the captains and they'll talk to you forever. And some people, like, they don't want to get the captains in trouble. And then they'll talk to you for like a minute or so. Like, I'm just talking. You know? D Duncan, for the record, does not dislike your captains. No, I know that, but he he'll just tell you like everything on his mind, you know. Right. He he has some good ideas. Uh and I'm I'm hearing that his ideas are just being dismissed as impossible. Do you, how do you feel about working in a place where if you had an idea about your protocols or the law in general and you, you thought it was a really good idea and if you were to bring it to your captains, they would just immediately dismiss you in the way that he has been dismissed. How does that make you feel? Well, I, Duncan doesn't do it the right way cuz he goes straight to the captains. And he should be going to, like, seniors and stuff. I've told him this because he'll be like, he thinks that he can skip steps. Like, if you run a company, I'm not going to Elon Musk saying, hey, your Tesla is like, you need to do this. Like, I'm talking to, like, my boss. So he doesn't do that. Right. He goes straight to Slacks and Slacks is like, I've got eight things going on. I've seen it. Do you, do you think that maybe he's going to your captains because they're the only people with actual power to make a change in your department? No, nah, seniors can make changes. They just, you know, they can't. So it, it, let's say you were to go to your seniors about the uh -huh. uh, the nature by which you are interviewing and hiring people. Do you think that they would be willing to listen to you on the matters of hiring or training? Yeah, I mean they'd listen to me. I don't know if they listen to Dunks. But <laughs> do they have? Do they have, always? Do they have the ability to make changes to that system, or are they only enforcing the will of your captain? Oh, I got no idea, buddy. I'm, you know. You know, I'm the lowest. I'm, you know, just, just a kid out there. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't have any more questions for you, Bam. Thanks for coming down uh, and talking to us, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem, Mr. Mayor and Cheval. I will see you. Yeah, thank you. Yep, bye-bye. Door locked. Yeah, it's locked. I'm going to let you up. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't have a... Well, we're going gonna, we're gonna to walk with you, so... Oh, yeah. I got to call somebody back really... Is I gotta that call her Mr. right K back. there? Mr. K. Guys, okay. I heard a bunch of gunshots. Oh, yeah, oh that wasn't right. us. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm good though. Thanks for asking about yeah. me. Good to see you, Max. <clears throat> what That's up? Question. No, we don't have fish or wildlife laws. Uh, for some reason, I can pull up a fishing location on my GPS, so that must not be like. I don't know. We need fishing Hello? laws. So Hi, don't who is this? Fish. This is uh, Gregory Johnson. Gregory Johnson, you uh, are you the fired cop? 
Uh, yes. Uh, give, give me. Uh, I, I, I'm okay. Uh, I'm on. The, I'm on the phone, so I'm. 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 I'm gonna come back up. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, 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 I'm sorry, sir. Uh, uh, Mister. Yeah, I'll just come back. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm the fire police officer. Yeah, that's that's me. Would you? I'm, I'm, uh, 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 what's up? I literally been sitting up here at the police station, and and just three one one for an office, and they're literally sitting in the room. That's that's crazy. That's, I, I just, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm I'm losing all hope. Uh, I, I'm I, I was told I, I needed to speak with you about uh, potentially becoming like a pastor because I needed to get ordained by the mayor's office or something like that. And uh, also, I, I I got this message. They were saying something about the mayor possibly having power over the police department, mm -hmm. and I, I just needed somebody to talk to about my situation because not a single everybody done turned their back on me and it, 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 it really hurts to see it. Not, not, I, I can't even get a text message back a phone I can't even get somebody to come to the front of the police station so like, it, well, you were fired um is it forever fire or that's 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 what I heard that's why I, I, I who'd you, it, hear, who'd you hear that from Captain Slack he said you, you you're fired be fired definitely because he didn't I didn't agree with what he what he said was was the punishment. I he, like I I basically defended myself. He he didn't like the fact that because what was supposed to been happen was I was supposed to get indefinite suspension and pending the review. Right. But because I didn't agree with what he was saying, he said no, it's gonna be an indefinite suspension. You're fired. Turning your stuff. Do you? I didn't get it. Uh, so I mean, look, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, based on what I've heard, the uh, the review part typically results in a firing anyway, at least historically. So uh, the end result was the same. Uh, he he just did it faster than what would have been done. But, but my thing is I never had any daps. I never had any problems, any counseling, any warnings, any, nothing, nothing. So they, they skipped the whole punishment system and yeah. they just fucking fired me. So just literally fired. What, uh, what did you do to warrant them skipping their punishment system. So I'm, I'm going to tell you both ends because me summing up what happened is honestly the reason why I got fired. If what I'm about to sum up to you, that's why I got fired. Me summing up something that happened. Can you, wait, hold on, it, hold on, hold on. can you come to City Hall so that my uh, wife can hear you and take notes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, I come on back up there. Sure. Uh, we'll be in the, right. uh, the, the very front room of City Hall. That, 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 okay, right. that, okay. I, I, mean, I got a face tattoo and my shirt's pink. Okay, you, you gonna be out there with a with a uh, where that where that booth is uh, as soon as you, or the stairs at? That's where you at? Yeah, or you gonna yeah, the very top? I, I'm gonna be on the stairs. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you. I'm on the way. All right, love you. See you then. All right. My bad. Oh, beep, beep, beep. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, those are gonna be tracked. They're going to be tracked in the near future. Listen to the sound of that shoe, dude. We love that. <clears throat> Does Dab know about this guy so far? Um, Nothing. <laughs> do you want to talk to me, Max and I? Do you want to talk to him? Who is that? Mr. K wants to speak with us. Yeah, of course. Okay, uh, why don't you come? Do you want to, what, how do you want to do it? Do you want him to come here? Do you want us to pick him up? Tell, do you want to do Max? Tell him uh, that I'd like to talk to him because I know that he was involved in uh, uh, the John, the, the, I just got off the phone with Gregory Johnson. Okay, oh, you I, did. And I, and I want him to relay the story of what happened with Johnson as well. So okay. Tell, ask him um, if it's cool if, if he speaks with Johnson to me. We're at City Hall. Is it okay if you speak to Max with Gregory Johnson? Are part of this? Okay, cool. Um, all right, awesome. Um, we're at City Hall. Uh, do you wanna do you wanna just come here? Okay, perfect. See you soon. Wait. So what uh what, what was the purpose of that phone call? Um, well, I had to inform him that he was asking about the appeal. What did I think about that stuff? Because we didn't really get a chance to talk. Right. Um, afterwards, um, 
had to be like, hey, can't do law for you. I actually think Sami might be good to work with him. Yeah, she's kind of she's, what? she's kind of a killer, huh? Oh, hey. Uh huh. She is. Hi, Sami. Hello, my love. Hi, Max. Yeah, I just um. What up, Sam? I just ref I have a wicked thing over so with you me. for Mr. K to be. I, oh. I'm on LOA as a lawyer right now, so I just yeah. referred you. Is that you, Mr. Johnson? I'm not yeah, a lawyer. Sure. Hey, um. I, I mean, I let's can, talk outside I, for just a moment. I get basic. Um, so my wife just got off the phone. M my wife is my chief of staff. She's basically my assistant right now. Um, she just got off the phone with Mr. K. Are you guys on like talking terms? Yeah, man, I, I got no problem, with Mr. K. Okay, because I, I talked to another cop today, uh, Daniel Blackwell, who I guess witnessed your guys' fight. <clears throat> um, and I just wanted to make sure you guys were cool because I, I need to get a full perspective of that story if I'm going to investigate the nature of yeah, the fight. <clears throat> Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, me, me, Mr. K is good. Yeah. I, 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 would, I would love, I would love to know. Uh, did did Blackwell get punished as well? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. Did she, uh, babe? Because you were listening, she didn't get. Oh wait, no, she, she got did. A dap. She got a dap. She, she got a dap. Yeah. She got a dap for not calling for backup. Mm -hmm. So not not her. Let me get my ass whooped and punched, right? It's it just not calling for backup. She let you get your ass kicked? I got punched. The whole, listen, this thing, all this. The funny part about Mr. K is he was the first one to run up the TMRPD to try to give me my job back. Yeah. Before any other police officer, Mr. K went up there, which is, <laughs> just blows my fucking mind. Why do you think Everybody he, why, just, why do you, why do you think he did that? Because he knows how good of an officer I am and how dedicated, how much passion how much heart I put into this fucking job for, for that, me right? to be to just freeze. Just, just to, oh, no, my game crashed. Away. No. Oh, no. You think it's because it's all uh, because of an accidental misclick punch? Well, he's rolling with it, which is really impressive to me. So, Slothy, uh, Joshy, thanks for subbing. Diva also DC'd. Okay. So, guns to people know. We don't know what he did. We're going to find out. Uh, Mitchell Anthony, thanks for subbing. They were talking to Duncan again. Yeah, we did it last night. It, it's it's gonna be on Siobhan's string. 